Okay. All right. There we go. We had a nice little, a nice little techno music introduction. There, there you are. See, I put some effort into it. You got, you got an opening, an opening bit of music. I'm, I'm catching up with the times. I know my boomer ass, a 30 year old boomer, I suppose, because I like mowing that fucking lawn, uh, needs to get woke on technology. But uh, it, we're, we're gonna do things. I'm gonna try to do things, kind of like I used to do, as in take Skype call-ins. I know all you all you kids love your Discord, but I'm not touching that shit with a ten foot pole. So uh, when it becomes Skype call-in time, uh, rather than repeatedly tell you the name to fucking look for or the message to send, or that there's a delay on the stream because nobody ever listens, I'm just gonna flash uh, flash this on screen. Look at that. See how simple that is? And then we'll, we will do Skype call-ins, and you can say whatever the fuck you like, whether it's on topic or not. It's completely up to you. Hopefully you're having a, a good Sunday, a, a better Sunday, I guess, than, <laughs> than the Kickstarter backers on Star Citizen. They've had a, a bit of a rough going. If you've donated money to that particular cause, you were, you were up shit creek. You were fucked five ways from Sunday. Well, you should have probably known because it's been, what, seven? Seven fucking years since that started? But, uh, no, no, uh, no refunds anymore. No no refunds for any of you. If you were expecting uh, any decency, if you were expecting maybe not to be treated like a retarded piece of shit, you're, you're out of luck. That's just not going to happen. Let me, let me pull this up. A little article about it. And about some of the people that, you know, thought maybe that was bullshit. Wanted to take uh, take it to court. They were going to take it to court and uh, teach the man a lesson. Apparently the man who has $250 million of Kickstarter money uh, wasn't taught any lessons because he's not got to do shit about it. Let's see if I can pull this up. Hopefully this works. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. The Star Citizen backers no longer able to get refunds. Isn't that beautiful? Backers of the infamous Star Citizen project no longer have any means of demanding refunds from its developer. No means. Normal means of purchasing refunds were effectively removed with the Star Citizen June 6, 2016 Terms of Service update. So it's been like that for about two fucking years. But it wasn't until December 2017 that they said they, they completely stopped giving any fucking refunds at all. So it was kind of stopped in 2016, but, you know, end of last year, uh, completely fucking stopped. Well, somebody said, I'm going to test that. Firefly212 decided they were going to take him to small claims court. And uh, how did that turn out? Well, according to the thread entitled, I lost in court, apparently not very well. The judge declined to hear anything regarding the uh, TOS. Didn't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> Cloud Imperium Games sent the representative, uh, who was probably dancing down the fucking aisles, because they they don't have to really do anything now. They've updated their terms of service a hundred fucking times. It seems like since the uh, the Kickstarter, they don't have to deliver a finished product. They don't have to give you a refund. You're pretty much fucked. I mean, they could just pull the plug right now and walk away with the money. What are you gonna do? Apparently nothing. Apparently not a fucking thing. Uh, this, in effect, means that Firefly 212 lost their case. No shit. It was dismissed by the judge and sent to arbitration as demanded by the current version of the Star Citizen's Terms of Service. So even if you donated money before the Terms of Service update, before 2016, you're still bound by the new updated Terms of Service. So they've retroactively applied their modern ruling. And uh, you're, you're pretty much fucked. Now, I was looking at it earlier, and the only crowdfunded endeavors that have raised more money than Star Citizen all had to do with some variation of fucking Bitcoin. It was some some form of Bitcoin uh, or, or some service related to it. There's some crazy one that was like $4 billion. It's fucking insane. But number four on the list... After all the Bitcoin shit, after all the Ethereum stuff, for the largest crowdfunding ever on the fucking internet, there's Star Citizen, sitting firmly at number four. 
and they don't have to do shit now. Well done. There's nothing like buying a pack of fucking starships uh, for $30,000 in real life money and then having nowhere to fly them because they're on Alpha version 3? Alpha version 3 after 7 fucking years? You know, I look forward to the game coming out in beta uh, sometime in 28, you know, 2028, let's say. Let's be uh, optimistic. Just another, you know, what is that? Uh, another 10 years, another 9 years. Maybe they'll get it out early, January 2028. And then, you know, the full retail release shortly thereafter in March of 2045. How, how angry would you be? Well, or first, how dumb would you be to give that much fucking money to these people? They've raised so much goddamn money. Why are you still giving them money? Why are you still donating to this? Why are you buying ship packs worth 30000 fucking dollars? What exactly would the point of that be? What are you, what are you hoping to accomplish? Do you think that's going to speed shit up? Do you think he's going to suddenly say, Oh, you know, at $250 million, we're kind of dragging our heels, but I think at $275 million, we better... We better start snapping to it. <laughs> that extra $25 million really is motivating us to get this product out the door. You know, get those backers what they demand. I don't think I've seen a more disastrous Kickstarter in terms of progress or outcome. Aside from maybe that, uh, what was that fur? Uh, it was like some furry porn game where you fuck farm animals or something, and they were giving them like ten grand a month on Patreon. And then the guy that had all, you know, like, uh, possession of all the art assets decided, fuck it, I'm done. And everybody got screwed. Or there was a game about ants. Or the guy got just you know, forty or $50,000, worked on it for a year straight. And then it turned out the guy who was uh, left in charge of financing uh, took all the money and spent it on hookers and cocaine. So there's, there's some real winner stories out there. But Star Citizen always, never, it never fails to impress. Every time you think it couldn't get more retarded, it finds some way to do it. And for some reason, especially on Reddit, but occasionally when you're browsing a fucking thread on V, people will still defend it. Don't, don't worry, the updates are still coming. Sure, they've made it components. Sure, you know, sure, they're instances rather than a, uh, you know, interconnected uh, fucking universe. But it, it's coming. We're, we're on alpha version 3 after 7 years. You need to be optimistic about this. Fucking ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Uh, dish soap? A uh, big swag? Is that, uh, is that what your donor name was? When you threw the money at Star Citizen? Please tell me you didn't donate on Star Citizen. That would be... Horribly fucking depressing. Uh, somebody in chat saying it's breeding season. That probably is the name of the fucking game. Uh, congratulations, that's the name of the awful furry game that got a shit ton of money on Patreon and uh, went nowhere. Bunch of horny furries with nothing to uh, release to. Eric Wolf could join Space Force and get on the real starship before Star Citizen launches. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good. You know, expenditure of uh, of money. Iron Wolf Spear, my week can't get any better. Thanks for making my day. A small hairy Jew tried to act tough, acting entitled. I put him down and rip his little hat off. Well, uh, oy vey. Hopefully the rabbi's doing okay. And Uncle Adolf's cheesecake. The goyim no shut it down. Terrible. Just just terrible. I don't know how they knew. Andrew's not, uh, not pleased about the pay pigs in the chat there. Oh, you want me to talk about Ralph? I'll get to that. I'm just, uh, I can't get over the Star Citizen shit because I've been watching this fucking train wreck happen for far too long. For far too long. No, scams are funny, chat. You are correct. Uh, it reminds me, Sam Hyde ran one where I think he started, it was a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter for some MLP shit. It was a complete fucking scam. He never had any intention of doing it. And it was up for like a month before all the bronies got really angry. This is a long time ago, so I'm, I might be misremembering, but there was something about that. Bullet 25, I kickstarted the shit out of that. One of the reasons I don't kickstart anything anymore. Well, uh, Bullet, <laughs> maybe you should have saved the five bucks to buy an actual Bullet. And uh, just put yourself out of the misery. Hopefully you didn't put too much money down on this. Because it's going to be a sad outcome. I have a feeling you're not going to get your game, is what I'm saying to you. 
Uh, do I read or watch JoJo Skull? Yes, I do. I've been watching JoJo on Hulu. Uh, sat down and watched, God, the, it must have been like 30 or f 35 episodes straight. It's good shit. Okay. Uh, let, you know what? Actually, there might be stars. Uh, you know, bullets a Star Citizen backer. There might be Star Citizen backers. Th this is how it'll work. I'll, I'll try to make this not be painful. It should be on the screen. It's very simple. Either send a contact request via Skype, or if you're already uh, on the contact list, just send a message. You know, so I've got new ones. And just remember, there's a delay from what you're hearing on the stream in real time. So just have your shit ready to go. I'm going to wait a few minutes, and <laughs> we'll see if anybody was dumb enough to donate to Star Citizen and try to get into the mind of a backer of this abomination. Let me uh, let me just get this up and running. Give me give me one moment. And we'll see if we can find out what the fuck was your your thinking, and actually giving money to this just godforsaken fucking abomination of a Kickstarter. Okay. All right. Oh boy. All right. We got a few there. Make sure my audio is good. Hopefully this works. Hopefully this doesn't go to shit. If it doesn't work, you can just blame me for being too old. Uh, yeah. So, again, send the message via Skype. We'll start it up in like two, three minutes. Uh, Takasu, hey Jim, have a fraction of the money I blew on Star Citizen three years ago. I pretty much gave up when they started offering real estate on fake planets. Yeah, they've, they've started offering land deeds. So, they don't even really have the planets fucking done, do they? But they're already giving away plots of land, imaginary digital land, that you can buy in a game that isn't even fucking out of alpha after they sold you $30,000 ships. I, I remember when people got pissed off about EVE Online selling monocles for like five bucks as uh, just, just is a bullshit accessory. What, it was some ridiculous thing. It was like a monocle or something, and people were really pissed off. And yet here's Star Citizen selling you ships for $30,000 and deeds to land that doesn't even exist in a game that's not even out of alpha. Uh, Mind-blowing. Grinchachola. Uh, the only thing I've kickstarted is some Sam Hyde series where he talks to a refrigerator. Best purchase of my life. I'm sure it's money well spent. Big crime. Super chats for the super chat god. Thanks for the years of service. Why not Discord? Discord is awful. Tell me one group of people that used Discord that didn't have it blow up in their fucking face. It seems like anybody that touches that service, everything goes tits up. And Dove and Death, a Metalcast just in time for me to get home from work. YouTube, Jim, have some shekels. Thank you. All right. I'm going to start uh, pulling people in here. Again, there's a fucking delay. I will call you up. Hopefully you have your shit ready to go. And hopefully the audio doesn't get fucked into the dirt on this. We'll, we'll find out really quick. First attempt. And it's going as... Oh, there we go. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. What's up, Mr. Mediker, Mr. Jim? Uh, just wanted to say, uh, watched a long time, never actually bothered to call, and now here I am with you and Cortana. We're both getting our uh, information you know, spread out throughout the, the whole web. It's really great. You gotta so love, thank you for... Uh, you gotta love the NSA. I know. It's a fantastic fucking service. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. Yeah, like, um, you know, I've been holding off on Windows 10 and everything, but I was like, okay, whatever, I'll download Skype, and then it's like, oh, yeah, access camera, access contents, or contacts, so, all right, so you, all, you, I'm going to make you, it work. You said in your message you were a Star Citizen backer. Is that, is that true? That is true. Um, thankfully, uh, I, back in, like, what, 2012, saw it as, like, a donation. I was like, okay, whatever. I like um, those other games that came out in the past, and I was like, okay, that's cool. I'll get them off the ground, and it's, I like the demo. And I was like, okay, I'll get a little single player thing. I kind of caught uh, up with it throughout all the years because I was like, where's my game that maybe I might get to play? But like, if I don't, it's no big deal. But uh, it's it's kind of crazy, man. It's it's kind of crazy. How much? Like, uh, I know some people. How, how much did you? How much money did you drop on it when you donated back in 2012? Uh, so I was I was like, oh, I could, I could uh, 
eat in for a bit, you know, so I spent like 40, 40 bucks, 60 bucks. So it's not that much like normal video game price. So the but price of an actual retail, like, uh, the price of an actual retail game. You yeah. On it. But, but, but here's the thing. Here's the thing that trips me up and that makes me just like, uh, like hand on head. Uh, what have I done? Like actual regret. I told other people about it. I was like, hey, check it out. You guys like these games? Like um, somebody's bringing it back. And then they got way, way more into it than I did. And they're like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm a zealot now. I'm, I'm, I'm down with, uh, with Roberts. Uh, how dare you uh, critique this guy? And I'm like, whoa, um, this is a little too much. I, in fact, I lost some friends over it. And it was just because I was the first guy to share with them. I'm like, dude, this is, uh, I, I feel responsible for their stupidity. So you're like a typhoid Mary. You spread the disease. You infected other people yeah. with this fucking Kickstarter. That's nicely done. I, I'm just going to try uh -huh. to... Yeah, I, that's I'm, why I'm you gonna, keep your opinions to yourself. <laughs> that's yeah. right. That's why I'm, I'm going to pull uh, callers. So let me let me try to get uh, your opinion on this, and then I'm going to jump to somebody else. For sure. Uh, do you no regret problem. giving money to this? And the other question would be, do you think it's ever going to be complete? Um, so no, I do not regret giving money because I saw it as a donation. I do regret even speaking a word about it to other people. Um, I do think that some form of cutscenes will be released, like attached to some shit build that goes like 30 frames, 20 frames per second, but it will be nothing compared to what they said it was. And that it takes, uh, seeing that final product for people to actually, um, you know, maybe finally put the noose around their neck and, you know, seal the deal. Uh, they, they need to come to reality. All right. So that's that. uh, all right. All right. Well, we got one Star Citizen backer. We're going to try to grab a few more. Uh, you take it easy, man. All right. Thank you. Peace. All right. Let's see if we can get a few more backers' opinions on this. Uh, another Star Citizen backer. Uh, Blue, let's find out. Skype, as usual, working beautifully. Nobody answering. Always a good sign. Hello? You there, Blue? Oh, hey, Jim. So you yeah. were uh, you were a Star Citizen backer as well, were you? Uh, no, no, I sent a message saying that I was not. I Oh, you were not? Uh, okay, just, oh, never mind then. No, no, what no, what I was trying to say was that in your Speed Racer stream, I noticed you mentioned that you wanted to know if there was some wheel-shaped Pokemon. And there is, called Dawn Fan. It's like this elephant thing. It can roll up into a wheel. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, bro, what was the name of it again? Uh, Don Fan. Uh, D O N P H A N. Okay, well, thank you for the hottest breaking depths. All right, I'm going to try to pull in some Star Citizen backers. I, I misread your message, Blue. Yeah, not a problem. All right. Well, now I'm, I'm up to date. I'm woke on the Pokemon question, apparently. Oh, we got somebody claiming they donated. Ooh, that's going to be painful. Yeah, let's let's pull this one in. If I can pull this one in. Oh, it's not letting me. Uh, Skype going to be a little... Alright, let's try. Get some opinions of the backers of this wonderful fucking project. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Who, who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Dobbin. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine, man. Oh, cool. So you're uh, a uh, Star Citizen backer, are you? Um, I paid the retail price uh, about eight, nine months ago. It was, I was watching the videos I thought it looked like it could be cool. Uh, so I thought at least the, uh, I thought at least the multiplayer, like the shooter up looked cool. And man, that was a mistake. I went in, like, I had just upgraded my computer. I got a 1080 Ti, um, my roommate built up a whole new computer. So wait, that recently, eight to nine months ago. Now I, I, there's there's been a lot of bad press, or at least word of mouth. I'd say like over the last two or three years, this kind of deadline has loomed, and nothing's really come out like people were expecting. What what made you want to donate even well, that well, recently? They, you were able to get into a uh, like a beta build sort of deal. I was like, eh, it could be pretty good. Uh, it could just be something to fuck around with. I had the spare cash, so I said, why the fuck not? I didn't go spend, you know, a couple hundred dollars on ships or anything like that, because I thought that was fucking retarded. Uh, because I want, because I know how these things went, but just that from the videos that I saw, you know, it looks pretty cool. And man, it was a mistake. The uh, open world is glitchy and buggy. You couldn't hardly fucking fly around without it just jumping frames whereas other games that i play i have no problem with i tried the uh multiplayer 
the uh, the four v four. I sat it in queue. You could you could run around in the little zone uh, with the other people before the game start. We could not get the full eight players that needed to play. So you couldn't even find enough people in the the alpha or beta offering for the money that you put down to actually get a game going. You're just stuck in queue the entire time. Yeah, you just ran around, and th- that for what it was worth. I had no lag or stutter. It's just the game never fucking showed up. And you can see other people. We just be running around waiting for the actual match to start. Well, that, that sounds like money well spent. I mean, that sounds like oh, a, yeah, a, the yeah, lawbreakers yeah, experience fucking, to me. Yeah, it, it was pretty fucking. Yeah, I mean, hey, I took a risk. Probably shouldn't have, but you know, it's not like I. It's not like some of these idiots who've dropped thousands on it. Oh well, hopefully we uh, get a, we get a few of those people. Let me let me ask you the questions I asked the other guy. Uh, do you regret spending the money on this? And do you think it will ever come out as a finished product? Regret's not the word, more like just straight disappointment. Uh, I think the only thing that might come out is that uh, the single player, they've been advertising where they have Mark Hamill in there doing the, uh, like, just the um, homage to the, was it the old uh, Wing Commander games he was in? I think that's probably the best we get. When that comes out, God only fucking knows. Okay, man. All right, well, thank you for your time. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you don't get fucked over if you ever donate again to one of these, uh, uh, one of these. Yeah, things. well, live and learn. Yeah, live and learn. All right, let's, uh, we'll grab a few more backers and then move on. God, why are there so many fucking backers messaging me? This is a little depressing. I'll be honest with you all. Hello? Uh, yeah, you there, Steve? Yeah, yeah I'm here. Oh, you were coming in loud as shit. All right, let me turn that down a little bit. Uh, so you were a backer, yeah? Yeah, that, that's the key thing. There. I was a backer. I actually got my refund. Not H- how ago. how the fuck did you pull that off? Because they they said they limited the refunds uh, back in December of 2017, and now they're not even arm or offering refunds. Yeah, so, yeah. How'd you do it? It was, it was like way long ago. That sounds about right. Like probably earlier 2017. Like it's fucked up because No Man's Sky that total shit show. Like look where it is now compared to Sky Citizen or Star Citizen, Sky Citizen, Star Citizen. You're not you're not too wrong on the name. How much money did you put down when you when you threw into it? Uh, just like the base sixty bucks. Yeah, a lot of people are saying they did that. All right, let me ask you what I've been asking everybody else. Uh, yeah. Do you regret? Well, you got your refund, but yeah. uh, I guess e- even now, do you regret even donating to it? And do you think it'll ever come out as a finished product? Yeah, honestly, anything early access is pretty fucking shady now that i think about it like look at dz for example it's still in alpha which is hilarious to me and uh this game's like i'm sorry to say there's also this uh this game's never coming out but uh there's also this mmo based on uh what's that game called everquest that fans are like remaking uh like basically a sequel to everquest and their uh like donations pre-orders are hilarious because it, they go up to like thousands of dollars for like stupid shit in the game, and it's like one of those. Oh, it's never you, gonna come out. Do you know the name of it? Uh, hold on, let me grab it. Well, I, um, I'm I'm gonna pull in more people. Uh, just message right. it to me, and I'll I'll pull it up on stream if we got the time later on. All right, cool. All right, man. See ya. All right, so that's yeah. Nobody's thinking. Uh, even the people that don't necessarily regret it are not uh, not super positive on the fact that the game's ever gonna fucking come out. I'll pull in. Oh God. All right, here we go. All right, Dalton. Come explain to us why you donated six hundred and fifty dollars to this. Hello. 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 Uh, so you you donated. Your message said you donated six hundred and fifty dollars to Star Citizen. That is correct. Oh, god damn! When did you donate? What was the? Uh, how long ago? This this was uh, back in twenty fourteen. I bought a. Uh, it was this obnoxiously large uh, salvage ship that was listed as four fifty. And then two years later, I liked the development of the game, and I got another ship that was around 200. So oh, you liked the development, and you bought another ship. How do you like the, the, the development now as it stands? What, do you, what are your thoughts well, on that? I, well, I could, for the community-wise, there's a lot of ships that have not come out yet. The one that I purchased just came out, and it, it looks beautiful. and it's, it's massive. But to be honest, the, the, the way the game development's going, it's probably going to be another you know, three, four, five years to see, like, a finished product or anything close to a finished product. 
now the the 450 you spent on the ship back in 2014 the ship just came out uh you said recently so that's been about four years you think it's another four or five years for the development to maybe catch up to where it'll be a stable release um don't like do you think by the time this game actually comes out other shit will be out that rivals it i mean it feels like it's chasing its own technology or it's chasing its own features what yeah, that was that was a big concern because they changed they changed the engine that the game ran on, so that didn't make people think like, well, if it takes another four years, there's going to be a new game engine, and it'll just be in this perpetual loop of needing to keep updating the game. And yeah, uh, let, let me ask you this one question: um, What do you think of the people that want to get refunds but can't anymore because they retroactively changed the terms of service? Do you think that's bullshit, or do you think that's okay? Yeah, that's a good question. I, I would definitely side on the people who wanted refunds. Like if you, if you bought the game for thirty bucks and you want a refund, that's great. I mean, I know it's a little bit harder if you paid like some crazy, like over a thousand or two thousand dollars. But I would, I would side with the user. If you, if you want your refund because the game hasn't come out in a reasonable time that, than what you thought, then yeah, I'd say you'd be entitled to a refund. Okay, man. All right. Well, you have a good one. Hey, thank you so much. Yep. Love your work. Yeah, take it easy, Dalton. All right. Well. Oh. Okay. This is the last one. Uh, this one's a big one. This is a big fucking donor. Let's see if we can get him on. Uh, you there? Hello? Yeah, you there, Puma? Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's going good. Let me just adjust the audio. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get it. Uh, you're listening to the stream. Is it coming through all right when callers are calling in? Yeah, it sounds fine to me. Okay, so your message said you you donated a a, a somewhat hefty fund. How much did you put into this game? I haven't looked recently, but it's probably 3000-ish. Now, is that US dollars or is that internet fund money? That's US dollars. So, it's real cash, $3000 yeah. real cash. And when did you put that in? Uh, I've been buying Star Citizen ships for probably since it started Kickstarter in 2011-2012. Okay. Uh so as it stands now where the game is. I mean, it it started 2011, the the fundraisers were about 2012. So six to seven years, and we're we're still kind of an alpha, right? It's like three point something. I, I don't know the exact build number. Uh, what do you think of where the game is right now, and are you hopeful that that three grand that you put in is even worth it? Uh, I, I'm I'm pretty happy with it for the most part. Uh, it's like I said, it's been a while. Obviously, it's slow going. The development's you know further behind than we thought. We think we'd have a, like a 2014, 2015 launch date, and then a 2017, 2018 launch date, and then Single player was supposed to come out sometime there as well, and it never did. So it's uh, it's definitely disheartening to see it not progress or anything happen in all that time. Uh, but I think it's still good. I like there's still lots of com uh, communication from the devs. Uh, it still seems like there's a lot going on for it. I mean, it's it is disappointing, like I said, but I I'm not I'm not like gonna throw in the towel and say, hey, you know, you know, this is dead game. They stole all my money and shit like that. Uh, like when I first donated or whatever, when I bought my first ship, like this was the game that I always imagined, like I would always want to play like the, the great big universe in space, do anything you want, go anywhere you want, be anything you want sort of thing. So it was always good. Uh, and I never had a problem with that. So I like, for me, spending all that money was invest, <laughs> investing in the dream that I wanted, like the game. Well, and I, I get that. A lot of people were looking forward to it and kind of had like a, a vision of what it was going to be like. You know, they sell you on the idea like this is going to be the shit. I mean, I've I've seen that. That's happened to me before. So I'm not yeah. I'm not going to dog on you for that. I get it. You you were enamored with it. But I think a lot of people in chat are thinking three grand's a lot. Let me. I, I want to try to get an idea of like the higher donors. So we've had a lot of people say like I put you know sixty bucks down for the base game kind of thing. Uh, you're yeah. put you're putting a little more in, even more than the guy that did six fifty for two ships. Um, are you like a doctor or a lawyer? Do you have like a job that <laughs> gives you a lot of disposable income or was this like a hefty sum for you? Uh, I mean, my initial investment was pretty hefty. I probably spent like a thousand bucks out of the gate. I, I don't like necessarily have a lot of cash to throw around, but I mean, over six years, like chipping in another $2,000, I guess, uh, wasn't so bad. Uh, but like the initial, uh, investment was definitely pretty high. And then, uh, I had a friend of mine at the time who was like really into games like that as well. So I bought, you know, like a two hundred and fifty dollar game package for him. So my initial investment was pretty high, and then uh, 
like after that going and stacking up over the years wasn't so bad okay uh, l- let me ask you a few more things here what do you think of their decision not to honor refunds anymore i mean do you think that's a dick move or do you think that's okay from their standpoint i i think that's definitely a dick move because like a number of things that they've said over the years is like, you know, if funding were to stop now, we'd still be able to finish the game and stuff like that. So I don't understand where this move is coming from. I mean, obviously, you know, as you brought up on the stream or whatever, it happened a long time ago. It was in the uh, whatever it was in 2015, 2016, something like that. And so, I mean, there's been I've seen it brought up in the news a whole bunch of times, uh, like it on the Star Citizen subreddit and a bunch of friends bash me over the game all the time, too. So. Oh, so you're, get, you're getting shit from your friends at this point now, are you? Yeah, yeah. No, it's been, it happens for a while. Uh, but, like, yeah, it is definitely a dick move. They shouldn't they shouldn't be doing that. And I know that, like, there are a lot of people who, who see this game and they're like, you know, I put in all this money, where's my game? There's nothing happening. And they all want to jump ship. And, you know, a lot of people have brought up, you know, the alpha and beta version is just, you know, not what people expected it to be. Uh, and I... I I've been following it like pretty closely, you know, pretty much since launch, and I've seen pretty much everything that's come out. I've played pretty much every version of the alpha and beta. Now you go to, um, you said you go to this this subreddit for Star Citizen. Okay, Um, I know a lot of like the diehard fans kind of congregate there. Are you familiar with uh, Derek Smart? I don't think I know him, no. Okay, because he's one of the more outspoken critics. I was going to get your opinion on that. Well, let me ask you these two questions, and then I got a few more backers. I think I'm going to ask too. I guess as it stands, it doesn't sound like you regret it, but uh, going forward... Well, you know what? I, let me change the question for you. How long is too long? From this point right now where we are, right? Middle of 2018. What would the date be for you where you're going to finally say, you know what? Uh, this is just too fucking much. Like, this is this has been too long. We need some kind of a stable, substantial final release. It, it's just too much. What would the date for you be? What's the cutoff? Uh... I don't know if I could really give you like a firm date. Like I would have to, it'd have to be a situation where like development has stopped for like a year. Like there's been no updates, there's been no news, there's been nothing, like nothing substantial. As so long you, as you you would be okay with them if they were doing like alpha version fifteen in twenty twenty four. I mean, yeah, I would I would be like a little disappointed and stuff, but I mean, I'm a little like, disappointed. My God, if I ever do a Kickstarter, you, I'm keeping your contact details. Three thousand sure. dollars. A little disappointed. Holy shit! I'm gonna yeah. start a game. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm looking mean, forward to that donation from you. You'll see it in twenty. I've waited. I've waited this long. I mean, I'm sure that uh, I can wait a little longer. A little longer. My God, you have the patience of a fucking saint. Seven years. Holy shit! All right, man. Uh, you take it easy, Puma. Yeah, no problem. Bye. All right. All right. Let's see if we got any. Oh, God, Aiden, I hope you're not serious with the amount of money you're saying that you donated. I'm actually fucking really shocked that people are... Let's see. Oh, wait, did I grab the right guy here? Hold on. Hello? How's it going? Uh, Okay, all right, let me just check the audio here. Now, you're another former backer of uh, a Star Citizen? Yep. And you sure. you can do you can outdo the other guy's donation from what the message I saw. Why don't you tell us how much you donated to Star Citizen? Uh, it was somewhere around ten thousand. So okay, and that's real money, right? That's not like yeah. internet coupons. Ten thousand fucking dollars. Holy shit! Okay, when did you donate it? How long ago was this? Uh, it started in twenty thirteen. Twenty thirteen, and was that one lump sum donation, or was that no, like spread no, out no, over no, packages? It was spread out over the years until December twenty seventeen. Okay, December 2017, which was a cutoff. Did you get any refunds, or is that all lost money? Uh, no, no refunds through Cloud Imperium, because, you know, as of December 2017, once they put out 3.0, their official party line was like, we've released a product, we're no longer held accountable for refunds. So I sold my off through the gray market instead. Oh, were you able to recoup a decent amount, or did you sell it yeah, at a heavy loss? Yeah, so like, one of the pluses of having like older pledges is a lot of them were worth more than what I actually bought them for, so I came out all right. Holy shit. Okay, you, you got to give me... I, 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 I'm I fucking astonished. Can I ask you a question? Are you uh, Do you watch my shit regularly, or did you stumble on this stream? Uh, somebody told me you were talking about it, so uh, I... Oh, took... okay, all right. I, I started to think, like, I've got an audience, uh, like, a, a large audience that donates a lot of money to Star Citizen. I was a little surprised. Um, <laughs> what do you... You got to give me your thoughts, man. I mean, so you put 10K into it. When did you start to get the vibe that shit was going wrong? Um, I would say around 2016, when... 
you know, Chris and CIG started giving us like release dates that were constantly pushed. 2016 was already a, a year of like everything is already a year late. And then you get to 2017 and it's still more of, oh, yeah, well, you know, Squadron 42 is not coming this year either. Sorry. And 3.0, like, oh, well, we delayed it from a 2016 release to 2017 because we were polishing it to Chris's standard. And then we get it in 2017 and it's just a jumbled mess. And it's like, okay, well, what were you doing the whole year that you said you were just polishing? Because it's a broken, buggy, just infested mess. Like, yeah, everybody keeps telling me that. I, I, I didn't donate to this and I don't play it, so I can't speak from experience. But from what they have released, from the bits and pieces that are out there, the alphas and all the other components and just different shit that they put out there, is it all fucking buggy as it's shit? It's always, it's always. Every release is always, it, it, it's something that like should be an internal quality assurance phase, but they put it out to us as like a public testing. Because, you know, they figured out also that they can like charge their backers to to do like a public test. So now they're doing that also. So now you can pay to like be a subscriber and get early access to testing the broken patch. Like it, it's just, it's, it's crazy. It's honestly insane. What are your thoughts on, uh, they're, they're kind of slipping it into the, uh, in terms of service about the refund yet. And then this court case, do you think it's a dick? I, I think it's oh, a it's dick super, move. It feels like you would think it's a dick move too. It's a super dick move. And, and you know, like I, I didn't mind because I kind of knew this stuff was coming. Right. And, I feel like a lot of us have tried warning people that this was coming and they were like, oh no, it's fine. Or if I, if I lose it, it's no big deal. It's money lost. And then like, I think it, deep down, a lot of them still thought that, oh yeah, it, everything's going to pan out. Okay. So I'm all right being like, Hey, whatever. And now like a lot of people are starting to realize, oh crap, like things aren't great. And you know, that's one of the other problems that Star Citizen has is a lot of its larger content creators are like, everything's great, guys. Just keep investing. We gotta save the dream. If you stop pledging, then the dream's gonna die. You don't want the dream to die, do you? Yeah, see, like th this is mentality. one this is one thing I don't get about it. Uh, again, when I there there's a list, I'll try to pull it up later, where they're talking about the largest crowdfunded endeavors online ever. And mm -hmm. the only thing that tops this is literally Bitcoin, Ethereum coin, that kind of shit. Right, yeah. where there's a ton of fucking money because it's a money service. Right. This right. is sitting at number four as a video game. For the right. amount of money that they've raised, what reasonable excuse could he possibly have for taking seven years to not even be past an alpha at this point? I mean, realistically, there isn't one. And there's there's so many different excuses that you're going to see, like, the backers who are still committed come up with. One of them is, like, I think the last guy was like, oh, well, they changed engines. Well, Chris Roberts has, like, told the backers, oh, no, when we switched over to Lumberyard, it didn't take any time away from us. But it's also one of the defenses that they use and why it's taking them so long. They're like, oh, well, we had to switch engines over. And it's like, which one is it? And that's a huge problem. That was a big part of my doubt, right, is they constantly give so many contradicting excuses from CIG themselves that it's just like, what do I trust anymore? At what point do I stop trusting you and start looking past what you say and looking at what you've actually managed to deliver? And a lot of people just aren't there yet. It's like a cult thing where like you get to a point where you're like, Hmm. And you start like looking into it yourself and then you feel like you're crazy and everybody else around you is like, you're wrong for thinking this. Okay. Well, let me ask you another question here. Um, when you got into Star Citizen, right, it feels like a lot of the advertisement or kind of like the following for this is based heavily around the website itself or around the subreddit. I mean, do you think there are a lot of diehard fans that are in those two communities that are just never going to, even if this goes tits up and it goes to 2025, they're just never going to get a clue and always think it's good? Yeah, I, I think it, there's a huge like insulation effect there where, you know, I'd say like three or four, three or four years ago, the subreddit was decently still open to where like you could be very critical towards the company or the game and you were still like met with pretty tempered discussion whereas now they're just so polarized it, it's you're either for it or you're completely against it and it, be, it turns into an echo chamber and a lot of them will be like oh no that's not the case but you know i challenge somebody who's not a regular there to go there and post something you know questioning about the development and see what happens on the subreddit or on the forum itself? Oh, on the don't don't even bother with the forums. The moderators there will ban you. Okay, absolutely. Uh, let, let me. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the last word here. If you if you could say something to a backer out there that had some possibility of getting their money back, either through the gray market or like a chargeback or some other means, what would you say to convince them that it's time to give up on this? Oh God, I, I really don't like pushing people towards refunding. I feel like that's something that you need to come to in your own terms. Um, but I mean, you know, just 
you you really have to look at yourself and look at what they've accomplished in seven years and say, is this really on any kind of timeline to where I'm going to be able to play this game and not my kids when they're older? Like, at what point do you say, okay, this isn't going to happen anytime soon? Like, we're talking like another five years, where are they going to be? Because it's been seven and they don't even have a single solar system completed yet. At what point do you say, all right, it's time for me to back away from this? Okay. All right, man. Uh, well, thanks for the uh, the insight. Yeah, I think you're the largest backer we've had so far. I'm glad you got your money out of it at least, or got so recoup some of it. You know what I mean? Me too. All right, <laughs> take take it easy, man. Yep, you too. Okay, we will do a few more. I, I'm getting a lot of Star Citizen people calling in now, so we will we will continue with that for a little bit. Uh, I got a few super chats. I'll read a few of those, and then we'll we'll jump back into the Star Citizen people, because. Uh, see if that's going to do it. All right. Hopefully this is all working fine and nothing has gone terribly. All right. Back up a little bit here. I'll, I'll try to catch up on the Super Chats, guys. Uh, and then we'll jump back into the calls. Uh, QEB, wow. Here's some money, you greedy kike. Uh, thank you very much. Gamer89, Star Citizen backers who still think it's coming out are on par with Scientologists. Uh, harsh. Harsh, but potentially fair. Uh, I don't know how you could put this kind of money down on this particular product and not think that this is just the world's largest fucking mistake. Um, especially after this amount of time. Now, we've had a few people call in that are optimistic about it, but not a lot. I'm going to be honest with you. Not a lot of people <laughs> calling in and thinking that this is, this is going well. Uh, but, you know, who knows? Ten grand, though. Holy fucking shit. That is a lot of fucking money. Stephen Thompson, uh, Civil War Now. Boomer, or boomers rage quit Trump 2020 and kill lives. Connor Potoff is Jack uh, Dorsky, the right place to call. Weston Redwood, you promised me the Clorox would die, Jim. Clorox is still shambling or dusty, dusty vag around. Why would you lie to us? I will get to Kareen in a little while. Uh, Super Hans, buy the game. I'm not, I'm not buying this fucking game. Takasu, $400 donor here. I think it will end up happening. The dev does keep us posted, but I'm no longer really caring. Too busy with Octopath Traveler anyway. $400. God damn. I like the Spike Man. This is what voting Bernie looks like. Smug Bug Man. For 10 k did he literally buy everything, including merch, multiple times? I, I'll ask next time when we get more large-scale donors on what they're spending the money on. Uh, professor, or professor Worthless, Bernie can still win here. <laughs> Bernie can still win. Here's how. Match my donation. And amazing, 1985, press 1 if you know who we was. All right. I'm, I'm looking at some of the fucking people that are messaging me with the donation amounts that they put in. And uh, holy shit. Okay. Again, there's a delay. So we're going to go back to the calls now. I've got somebody, a Nathan who said he spent $20,000 on Star Citizen. Let's uh, let's see how this one goes. Oh, come on, Nathan, pick up. That is such a large amount of money. Nathan, you are disappointing me here. Apparently, Nathan spent so much money that he was unable <laughs> to pay his internet bill because he's not picking up the fucking call. Uh, for that amount of money, though, I I'm going to give him a second chance. Let's see if the stream is kicking back on for him. And he's now at the point where he's going to be taking... Yeah, I don't believe you, Chris. Uh, that That's cute. There's no... No, you didn't. Six, six million. That would be adorable. But no, I don't I don't think so. Let's Let's try. Okay, well, we're never going to hear the, the story of the $20,000 donation, sadly. Uh, where are we going here? Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm really fucking, uh, we got another donator. All right, let's pull this one up. Combiner, don't let us down here. 
Hello. Uh, hey there, Jim. How's it going? Uh, it's going good. So uh, you were a donator of uh, Star Citizen. Uh, that's that's right. Much to my chagrin. How much did you How much did you sink into it? Um. Well, shit. I'm afraid that I can't match the last two guys. I only put in about a hundred bucks into it. Now, how long ago did you throw that hundred in? Uh, that was about 2016, so two years ago. Okay, and were you able to get the money out, or is it lost money? No, that that shit's way gone. Like, I was seeing what they were doing about the um, user agreement, and I just thought that uh, if they're doing these kind of lawyer tactics to deny um, getting refunds back, then that just kind of says to me they don't really have any faith in their own products, so I just didn't even try. Okay. Uh, well, let me ask you this. I, I've been asking as many people as I can. Uh, do you regret having put the money in, and do you think they will ever release a finished product? Uh, yeah, I'd say I regret putting it in, and they'll probably put out something that's like uh, not what all they've been shown before. So it'll be extremely disappointing, and they'll just take the rest of the money and they'll just run with it. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thanks for your input, man. I'm sorry about the hundred bucks. That uh, that sucks. I know. I could have bought a new own hole with. Uh, <laughs> you could have. You could have got something. Something you could have fucked know, rather than getting shit. fucked. Yeah. No shit. All right. Take it easy. Bad man. times. All <laughs> right. You too. Okay. Skype fucked up. Uh, I'm getting a message from Mr. 20K. Let's. Level, you know what? I'll try it again, Nathan. The stream's catching up. I will try it one more time. We will give it one more shot. Because I, I'm dying to hear this fucking story. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. I guess that's never going to go. That's never going to go. Uh, let's see. We've got a backer who do uh, dedicated to the project but hates... Oh, okay. Well, this will be interesting. Let's let's give this one a shot. Hello? Hey, what's going on, Jim? How you doing? I'm doing good. So, uh, were you a... You said you're a backer of the project? Yeah, I've got about a K into it. Um, Oof, a thousand bucks. Yeah. How, how long ago did you throw the money in? Uh, the first one I made was probably back in 2015, and then um, that was for like 60 bucks, maybe 80. And then I put about another 900 or so in the past few months. Okay, so what what made you keep? Because I, 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 I remember when you know word of mouth started spreading and kind of the negative news really started to hit. You know what I mean? Like there there was a few mm. years at the beginning, people are really hyped, and then there were a few years where there's a little bit of doubt. Uh, but I'd say like the last three years really the last three years it's been getting hammered kind of a lot uh what made you keep giving money like what made you put the money in the the grand that you put in yeah so what originally put the full bomb on i mean a bit of money in is a couple things so i have expendable income like i have i i work a good job and a thousand bucks to me isn't a big fucking deal at least nowadays um but i've always been a big space guy like i've been playing eve for 10 years um, well, I love space games. Um, I'm a little younger than some of the Eve dudes. And some well, of okay, let me, let me ask you this. Why would you ever put the money into that? Why would you put the grand into this when you could have thrown it into Eve? Because I already have everything in Eve. I, I'm a big, I'm a big space rich boy. Um, oh, okay. So you, yeah. you've, 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 you've done everything you could fucking do. I got Not you. literally everything, but like everything that I want to do, like I have supers, which are like the biggest ships in the game. Um, I, I play with my friends. Like I have everything I need. I have like 13 accounts. I'm, I'm going to go for Eve. Okay. So now, now I'm even more interested. So, so you're a bit of a, what they would consider a whale when it comes to yes. backing yeah. this well, kind of shit. I don't give them much money. I make all my money in game. And I, I last time I gave, I gave CCP a dollar was like 2013. And that was for when I wanted just to buy a new account, um, but I haven't paid CCP. Ha have very you long. have you bought any monocles? No, I just I don't I don't I don't uh, do fashion Eve. I'm sorry. Okay, all right. So you put you put the thousand dollars in. Now your message said that um, you were you were behind the project, but not necessarily the developer. Can you? Yeah. So I think that? I think Chris Roberts is an egotistical piece of shit um, and should be hung up and just executed, um, especially with his brother too. Um, the developers are scummy and they do some shitty stuff, but the image of what it wants to be, I love, and I, I want it to be real. It probably won't be, uh, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
Uh, like I, I'm, I'm pretty confident it's not going to come out, or at least it won't come out into the state that it was originally an- announced to. But I'm, I, I'm hoping it does. Uh, there isn't really much I can do to like make it any further. Like I'm not going to give them any more money. Um, and if I could, I would refund. I've even considered selling my shit just because I, I, I want to get my money back almost. But I want it to come out and like, but I, it, it's frustrating because I fucking hate CIG. Um, but I love Star Citizen, if that makes sense. Well, how much... Uh, okay, because I've seen a few figures, and it seems like it, it still gets money even to this day. Like, where is it sitting money-wise for how much money has been thrown at it? I can pull it up right now. It's in, like, I think it's like $190 million. Uh, It's on their website. Let's see. Well, yeah, and I, I guess I don't need an exact... Let's just say $200 million. Is that is that fair? Yeah, it's it's about two hundred million. It's actually uh, it's floating over. It's one hundred eighty nine million, which is it's kind of stagnated recently then because it was at like one hundred eighty million back in like April. So for, uh, I, I guess I have to ask. I mean, I, I get that you're optimistic. You like this kind of game and stuff, but mm-hmm. for, I, I can't imagine any other studio having that amount of money. I mean, when we hear like really bloated game budgets, a lot of that has to do with advertising. You know, that's like yeah. the the publisher stepping in to do a ridiculous, retarded two hundred million dollar ad campaign. But for like the development itself, the people that are making the game, the thought of having two hundred million dollars to make the—I mean, we're talking like a a blockbuster summer release Hollywood movie mm-hmm. budget. Uh, what, what, like, how did they have an excuse that's that's believable or plausible for having a seven-year gap from when they came up with the idea and raised the funds to where we are now with only kind of like a a buggy alpha? So I would probably have to say it has to do with just some of how do I feel about the game, how I like the image and I like the idea of it. Um, if you really are deep into a product or anything, like you could be deep into cars or something, and there's people who will like stand like toe to toe with people about shitty cars because oh it's my car, it's a car I believe in, even though it's a piece of shit. Uh, like there's some Mustangs that had some really shitty uh, some build quality in like the mid 2000s, but there, like a guy I work with, he would live and die by his fucking shitty Mustang. Um, I would say it's similar because they're investing a decent bit of money, even if it's just like 60 bucks. Some people get really deep into their investments and they get offended when something that they like is also being talked poorly about. So they're like saying, well, if you make fun of it, something that I like, that means you're making fun of me. And from there, they shop like they have to defend it and take care of it like it's their own. So when in reality, does, does that mean that this is the greatest scam ever? I mean, if you can get people so invested with something where they put down, I mean, some people are buying like ship packs for like 30 grand, like crazy mm-hmm. shit. Uh, where they put that kind of money down, they're the big whale. They throw all that money in, and now it's seven years later, and the game's not getting developed, and everybody's like, "You're a fucking retard for doing this," uh, and they get offended, and they're like, they double down on that. I mean, do you ever see? I, to me, this feels like it's never going to to actually materialize. There's never going to be an end product that's just done, released, stable. Do you do you think that there will be? And I guess, how long do you think it will be until we finally get like the official retail release? No more beta, no more alpha, no more bugs. Uh, it's kind of a hard thing to say in like modern games. I mean, I know, I've heard you talk about you hate games and servers and shit, but like that's kind of how the future is going. Like Eve's been in a constant of development for years. Obviously, it has had a real release back in like 2004, but it's always changing. Like if you look at Eve, even just like five years ago, it's almost a whole different game from what it is today. Um, so you can do the same thing with like WoW. WoW on release is not even close to what it is nowadays. Um, so to say it will ever be a full, complete release, I think is a hard thing to really reach. But to get to an actual retail release, I think is what you were hinting towards. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. If it does, it's going to be another probably three or four years. Because there's like 120-something ships in the goddamn game, and like 40 of them are flyable. Oh. And those are the, and like they're missing like the really complicated mechanics too. So the first thing that really like scared me about the game is there's an exploration mechanic where you're supposed to be able to explore planets and research them and shit. But like there's like 140 planets or something like that. Or, like it's 140, 100, couple, couple hundred planets. How the fuck are you going to make a game that has 2 million players be able to support that many planets? And they said they're not going to do like a wormhole system like Eve does. Because in Eve, when you do exploration, you can um, you go into wormholes and sites disappear and you research them. You can loot from them and shit. Um but CCP is, or sorry, not CCP, CIG, as far as I can tell, has never announced anything like that. And they haven't even released the most basic exploration mechanics yet. But they have, like, one of the most adored ship, the uh, Karak. It's, like, $500. It's the big exploration ship. Has a whole mechanic around exploration. 
Well, yeah, that, that, but, that's great. And I mean, you did bring up even WoW and stuff. I guess my counter to that would be, yeah, these are games that are constantly evolving and they're constantly updating. But I don't even think Blizzard has come close to sinking that amount of money into the development of WoW. And I sure as shit know Eve hasn't sunk $200 million or asked people for $200 million to sure, yeah, no, expand I, like, on the I, universe. I, like I said, I, I don't defend Twisted anymore. Like, I, I was super a big proponent of it when I first got into it. I got all my friends to put money into it. But now I don't even fucking talk about it. This is the first time I've talked about Eve, or not Eve, fucking Star Citizen in probably two years. Um, well, let me ask you this final question. It, let's say somebody's listening to the stream and they've got a uh, thousand bucks burning a hole in their pocket, and they're like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna go donate to Star Citizen." Would you tell them go for it, or would you say no? I would tell them no. Don't put any. Don't put a single dollar to um, uh, Star Citizen. Wait until at least like you have an actual real beta and not like their fucking bullshit one, which I know they're gonna put out. Uh, they already. They, if you look at their roadmap, which they have on their website, they show you their development plan. And their beta is going to – that's what that's what most people consider an alpha in terms of, like, what, what they're going to release. Wait until, like, even, like, full release. Or just wait for fucking um, uh, Squadron 42, their single-player game. It'll be this, like, a nice little chunk of what Star Citizen is going to be, but, like, just a single-player version. See how that goes. Okay. And that's coming up first, so. All right, man. All right, well, uh, hopefully your money uh... – gets put to some use you know maybe there's a, a a decent release and it's stable and i don't fucking know five years but uh yeah i'm just amazed at the amount of like people are putting in a lot of cash to this but um all right yeah take it easy man yep to jim all right bye all right i will try one more time nathan says he has figured this shit out uh if you don't get it this time nathan i'm not trying again after this hello Hello, how are you doing? Okay, I, th I think we finally got this working. We finally this nigger. I had to fucking learn how to fucking use Skype this fucking once just to... I'm so fucking angry right now, but let me just tell you something. Well, hey, you, you should... How... Don't be angry at me. Skype's free. You don't have to spend $20,000 on it. Nigger, I'm not fucking angry at you. Okay, but here's the thing. You know how I said I spent 20000 on this? Yep. I fucking lied because you want to know why? Why is that? That is level of fucking stupidity everybody else is on when it comes to even spending money on this fucking project you fucking expect these jews to even give what, what um they said they're going to give well you're no. you're, you're cock teasing me here I, I wanted to talk to people that actually <laughs> threw the money i had one guy that spent ten thousand dollars on the fucking game <laughs> yeah nigger no they're, they're fucking dumb they're they're that fucking dumb that they may as well have spent twenty. Are, are, are you telling me you're not going to donate to this wonderful video game that's surely going to come out in the next year? Nigger, I'll donate to Todd. I'll you'll donate to Todd. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you can climb that fucking mountain if you can see it. All right, all right, Nathan, take it easy. All right, well, that went nowhere. There was no twenty thousand dollar donation. I'm a little upset. I was expecting we're going to get get something spicy from that one. All right, read a few, read a few super chats. Take a few more calls. We'll move on to the next. Uh, the next topic. I'm a little a little surprised. I wasn't expecting this many Star Citizen donators to call in. I'll be honest with you. Uh, Amazing 1985 uh, confession. I put 1500 into Star Citizen. I will do one day. Uh, I will one day do a penance for my sins. Uh, oh, 1500 bucks. God damn, man. What is with you people putting this amount of money into this shit? Spunky platypus. Medicare, thanks for all you do. Amazing 1985. Hey, someone tell me what happened. Did something happen to Star Citizen today? Was it work? So couldn't keep up with the date, uh, or up to date with the news. Uh, well, to bring you current, uh, Star Citizen won a court case, I guess. Somebody tried to go to small claims court to get a refund. Uh, the judge basically said, you have to go to arbitration as per the rules and the terms of service, even though they were being retroactively applied to the person, which means you're fucked if you want to get a refund from this point forward. And uh, Sonestein, uh, nobody expects the Holy Jim Quisition. Please never stop making this world a better place. Thank you. Space Shank, at least I'm going to get something out of this $5. Well, yes, you are. I will make you a uh, paint version of a ship you can fly around. Just check my Twitter later on for that. Inside the tent. Jim, where is the third Am I Being Detained tape? Oh, there was never a third Am I Being Detained tape. There were two of them. And then I had a sovereign citizen flip the fuck out about the first one. And that began a little odyssey that I'm not going to get into. NAX300, do you know Kumo Desuga Nani Ka? I wish they would make a game like this. Also, 
star, 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 star are animals. Fill in the blank chat. I'm not sure what he meant. Everybody, all people are equal. We live in a diverse multicultural society. Jason versus Jason 2017. I really enjoy the streams. This is the first one I got to watch live. Thanks for keeping me entertained. Glad you're liking it. Cotton Toker, thank you for the donation. Uh, the Bastard Press 1 to ethically de louse the Jews. Looking for a little support from the chat there. Massive damage gaming. Jim, you never read my Nick Bates super chat. Damn it. I'm working my way down the list. Ixel Pierce, just getting to watch at 1800, so I'm way behind. That's okay, though, because I'm 30-year-old boomer, and I'm sure I don't understand techno magic. Please use this money to purchase your favorite dilation utensil. That would be a uh, knife. <laughs> That's a, it's a little pro tip for all the people transitioning out there. If you want a good dilator, get a steak knife. I hear it works wonders. Bartimew5, I put $30 in years ago. I was a bit down that it never panned out. I can't imagine what it's like for people who put in thousands of dollars. R. Jeffrey 14, Redditors are stupid and naive, and then will blindly defend their own stupidity. Who could have seen this coming put Reddit in the gas chamber? Dove and Death, always been worried about my voices. Not everyone says I sound like Ross. Makes me want to kill myself. Mula Maymula, Jim, when will the Couch Cuck video come out? It will come out. Eventually. Sutherinicity Itchy? Lord Vicious called it years ago. Star Citizen is a scam. Butch, me and my Romanian cat breeding boyfriend Jackson or O'Farrell Carter the third love watching your videos. Amazing 1985. Okay, and then we're back to the beginning. Press one if you know who we was. Slip Wilson, how long until Star Citizen devs are out at his pedos? I have no idea. No idea. We'll take a few more Star Citizen calls and then move on to the next topic. Reddit is the best. Everybody in chat loves Reddit. That's the number one place to go if you want to back Star Citizen, apparently. That or their forums, but people even putting in thousands of dollars had said their their forums were a fucking nightmare if you wanted to say anything negative. I almost want to test it out. I want to make an account and go onto the Star Citizen forum and say, hey, I donated $1,000. How do I get my money back? And see how long it takes me to get banned. I bet if we timed it, it would be seconds. I wonder what the I wonder if we can speed run a ban on the Star Citizens forums and see who can get the best time. All right, let's pull up a few more callers here. See if we got any more Star Citizen backers. Oh, oh, Lee. Oh, I have a feeling your friends fucking hate you. Let's pull you in. Yo, Jim, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Let me just uh, let me just check the audio here. Coming in a bit loud. Um, okay. You 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 said not only if you put money in, but you got your friends to as well. Okay. Yeah. So I'm actually uh, I'm pretty well off, so I don't have to worry about money. Uh, I can't say the same about my friends. Who? Um, well, I guess they're not really my friends anymore. They don't really talk to me anymore. Uh, I can't really tell why. But uh, yeah, I got them to donate a total of like 350 bucks. I put in 150. Um, they they really hate me now. So you got all your poor friends who don't have disposable incomes to drop money on this game that's never coming out. You <laughs> rich, like you rich was, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was three friends. They they donated something like sixty bucks each. I think they were going for like the regular, you know, just buy the game thing. Uh, whereas I wanted, you know, one of the ships. Um, I I haven't really put much thought into it. See, I, I got them all. To start oh, you you you're, you're starting to uh, uh, like one, games. you're starting to robot on me a bit there. You want to say that again? Okay, oh, sorry about that. Can you hear me now? Uh, you know what? I I, I will try back with oh. you. Uh, yeah, you, you're roboting on me. I'm gonna I'll, I'll try you back in like five minutes. It might be on my end. Uh, we'll we'll try again here in five. Yeah, sorry about that. Not I'll try. Just, yeah, it's okay. Oh, got his friends to donate a shit ton of money. That uh, that's somebody. Gladder said I donated zero dollars. Very smart of you, Gladder. That is the correct amount of money you should have donated to this. <laughs> what is? Uh, well, you know what? Uh, you will speak for him. You know what, Jake? I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you speak. Hopefully, Jake picks up. You said he's got a stupid communist friend who spent way too much money on this. Hello. Is this Jim? Uh, this would be Jim. Uh, I'd said I read your message. It said you had a retarded communist friend that donated thousands of dollars to this. Is that correct? <laughs> Absolutely, and forgive me, I'm kind of fucked up tonight. I've had about at least uh, 
uh, a half a quart of vodka, and you'll have to forgive me. That, so I got th- this that's friend. Fine. Yeah, hit me with a story. Tell me, tell me about your commie friend that donated a thousand dollars on imaginary spaceships. So I got this friend, you know, like he's a communist. He goes to these communist meetups. He does all this bullshit, and I've been trying to, you know, drop him the red pill and <laughs> all that shit. But he he just doesn't get it. So we still hang out. Like you know, there's all this you know hate that goes on between these two sides, the left and the right. And it's kind of fucked up, but most of us get along for the most part. But this fucking idiot has dropped thousands of dollars on the Star Citizen game, right? And he'll come over to my place and say, check out this game, you know. I've dropped all this money. I bought some starships and blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't really play video games like that, but um, I, f- I follow your shit. You're pretty funny, and I think <laughs> I think you're fucking hilarious. But this fucking kid... Wait, you're telling me you don't want to spend $2,000 to join your communist friend in outer space? I'm not going to spend a fucking cent to join any communist anywhere. But fucking this kid, right, he'll sit here and he'll talk about this game and he'll show me all of these, you know, these trailers and all of these, like, you know, these, it's it's like a... Uh, it's like a demo, you know, it's, it's not like an expanded universe. It's like one set place. And I've, pl- I've played video games before. Like, I don't really play them like that. He's a nerd. I'm not really, I just watch your shit, but he, he knows all about this shit. He mods games. He plays on PC. I play Xbox, you know, that's all I do. But this kid, like he's so set. He's, he spent almost four grand on this game. Right. And he's a dumbass communist. He's in jail right now on drug trafficking charges. Doesn't doesn't that surprise you? He's a he's a drug trafficker and he's a fucking communist. Well, if you want to, you know what? I, I'll give you the last word here. We're gonna jump to a few more backers. Do you want to you want to address your friend by name and tell him he's retarded on stream? That would be great. Have it uh, uh, memorialized. I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna put him out like well, that. Well, not not his full a... not his full name, his online handle or his first name, something, so he knows it's you. Oh goddamn! I don't even know that shit, dude. Because I, what I do is I watch you and I just go out. You know, I just do my day. Like, I just go to work, I come home, and I watch your shit because I think you're funny. All right, well, I'll, I'll, throw it, like... I'll throw it out for you then. Jake Holman's communist friend, you are a <laughs> retard for donating $4,000 on Star Citizen. All right, you take it easy, man. Thank you. All take right. it easy, man. Uh, we, got a, we got another... What was that? Uh, where is this? Oh, Christian, please tell me this is a fuck. We might have somebody... I, I I don't know. This might be the biggest one tonight. Hello? Hello? Christian, are you there? No? Uh, hello? Nope. Okay, well, that one, uh, that one completely did not work. Alright, yeah, I'll do a few more calls and we're gonna jump. Okay. Try this one. Another backer. Tobias. Still amazed by the amount of people that have given money to this video game. Are you killing me here, guys? Okay, well, I had somebody had said they'd spent 26 grand on it. Tried to get him in, wasn't able to get him in. Sadly, that looks like it's not going to happen. Apparently, if you spend more than $10,000 in this game, you cannot operate Skype, which might explain, if you're having difficulty operating Skype, why you would have been okay donating $26,000 to a video game on the internet. Okay, that, that that's fine, Christian. We will try to do your call later, maybe, uh, and see see how things go. All right, that that sounds fine. All right, let me just minimize this here. Pull this off for a bit. Read a few super chats, and we're going to jump into the next subject. I think we've had enough uh, insight into the Star Citizen mindset. Oh, Jesus. Kumpi Bala, I donated my thoughts and prayers to coming out. Coming out as a donator, or just coming out in general? Not sure. Super Hans, Xbox Pleb. Killer Queen, this might be some shit to peek at sometimes, Jim. The Star Citizen fan base is full of furries, commies, 
and Slavabu are peers. And we'll have to give it a look a uh, Kitty Cat is that. Love your channel, Jim, my brother, and I love talking about your videos. Keep up the good work. Bismarkito27, Jesus, he jewed his friends out of for a video game. That's not going to come out. LOL. Cloudstar, speaking of large investments, after your recommendation of Legend of Galactic Heroes and looking into it, I bought the $800 set that's coming out and the books. Why would you... Sp I told you to go watch it on YouTube. It's free on YouTube. You could go watch it right now. Rob the Dog, I only have $2, but it's worth it. I love you. Martins Morgan, Jim, I woke up in Japan to watch your stream, you big gay. Here's some shekels, you spicy boy. Amazing1985, what ethnicity is the owner of Star Citizen franchise? Uh, he's an evil cis white male, if I'm remembering correctly. The evil commentator... Buying microtransactions and DLC before the game even exists is the future. And the future is now. Bow Wow, what's your opinion on the Metal Gear Solid movie coming out? I really hope that's not true, unless MGS stands for something else. Chris Remershid, <laughs> I probably butchered your name, man. Uh, if I had this kind of cash, I'd trick out my AR or AR-15s and get the paperwork for a M16 ASAP. Yeah, I, I could think of a lot of things to spend a thousand or ten thousand dollars on that wouldn't involve star citizen problematic white knight france wins world cup african celebrates uh knickers and paris loot the city care to update the current leaderboard of european countries to fall first uh, we're actually going to be taking a look at that uh and one of the next uh one of the next little topics september clues where's the narcissa internet insanity thanks jim uh that is that is correct i am doing an internet insanity on cosmo uh, and I don't know if word got to them because they are doing blood sports videos now. We're going to actually be looking at that later on, too. Killer Queen, well, fuck me and neutrino flight physics. I spent $70 on this piece of shit four years ago to get a ship that it took till last week to get into without falling through the floor while at four frames per second on a $2,000 PC. Why is everybody giving money to this fucking game? Snake56, Jim, look for the YouTube series of videos called Sunk Cost Galaxy. It's made by a guy, or a guy that spent more than $10,000 in Star Citizen. Oof. Dude bro make YOLO swag. Jim, money match Queen of Pole in Shit Fighter 5. Uh, no, I don't think I will. Crackbot, where are the alien sluts and the devs promised them? Don't know when you're going to get that alien pussy. It's probably never going to come. And neither are you because there's going to be no alien pussy. Jonathan Lewis, buy a ticket to Fry Festival to donate to Star Citizen. Popper Wedling, Jim, if you want another subject for Internet Insanity, check out a guy named Elia Priest. Not familiar with that, but uh, I will take a look when I get some chance. The Orange Cow, are you Jack Dorsky or Yule Logs on Skype? I am not the NSA. All one word. And uh, I don't even know who the fuck it is. Let me. Yule Logs would be the one. There you go. Uh, Midrian Emery's sounds like a judge who didn't want to deal with a trial and look uh, took arbitration as the easy way out. Well, their their counsel is trying to say it sets a precedent, and uh, it's not good for everybody. Bullet twenty five for a comparison. Wow, after development, four years of running spent two hundred million dollars. So development and it was up and running for four fucking years. Server costs and everything else that was two hundred million. Archibald twenty six thought you might need this. You can't even afford a decent channel icon. Just kidding. It's nice. Take this and get yourself something cheap. I'm going to throw all that money into Star Citizen. Just just all of it. I'm going to buy a ship and a plot of land I'm never going to see. And then we're back to Amazing 1985 with the shameful, shameful admittance that he spent $1,500 on this fucking atrocious game. Oh, why? Why would you do that? Okay, let me... I'm just going to... I'm going to remove that. I got a little list here. I'm working from a little list. Star Citizen is fucking done. Let me pull this up here. Get this up. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Uh, one other gaming-related story. Okay, let me make sure this works properly. There we go. Chinese tech giant Tencent aims to take on Steam with a global version of Wii Game Digital Storefront. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with who Tencent is, 
Uh, it's like the Chinese Google. These fuckers own everything. And the more I've looked into them, the more I'm amazed by the amount of companies that they have their fingers in. They own Riot Games outright. They've got percentages in people like uh, Epic Games and uh, Activision and just fucking everybody. But now they want to bring their, their Chinese communist platform over here. And one of the interesting things about this is because they have their fingers in so many AAA developers, because they're associated with so many publishers and studios and everybody else, they want to put out a competing platform to Steam. I, I don't know how that's going to turn out, but they could do it like EA did with Origin and just pull games from Steam. Or they could just say, fuck it, we can handle the loss because we own the fucking shit outright and undercut Steam by offering sales that they can't compete with. But if you thought Steam Origin and other similar gaming platform stores hybrids were exclusive to Western markets, think again. Chinese corporate uh, giant Tencent has run its own digital gaming platform, Wii Game, since April 2017. And now they're going to do a global version. And so I guess my question for you, chat, uh, would be, would you buy a video game from a Chinese company? Would you actually use their service? They've got, uh, I think it's WeChat and QQ are their two major social platforms with a billion users each. So they have the infrastructure to run something very large. Uh, and they've got their own gaming platform that's been out for a year now, and I'm, I'm guessing it's doing okay if they're going to go global with it. But with the Chinese firewall, with their, their credit for citizens, would you feel safe actually giving money to them? Would you feel like your financial information, your personal information, your address and phone number, and all that other shit that you eventually get corralled into giving to companies like Steam and elsewhere, when you set up your account and when you protect your account and when you make a purchase, would you feel safe giving a Chinese company that sort of information to get, I don't know, a 20% discount on top of the normal discount just to buy it on their platform? Yes, by Microsoft Windows 10, by just companies in the U.S. that already gather all our data. So is it so bad if the Chinese get it? I mean, if you look at Equifax, they basically fucked over every single person in the United States by giving away their credit information which already includes your name, address, occupation, sometimes your social security card number was included with it, banking accounts were included with it, credit card details were included with it. That shit's out in the wild. 150 million Americans affected with that. Uh, Canadians too, and some Brits. So I, I, I don't know where that leaves us. That, uh, that would be my fucking question. I'm seeing a lot of no's in, in chat. Y you wouldn't you wouldn't trust them with your, your financial information? Don't you want to get Fallout... Uh, Fallout 4 for, uh, I don't know, nine pennies? Isn't that worth giving uh, China your personal details? All right, we got, we got somebody here. We got a Jordan who wants to talk about Wii Game. Let's, let's pull him in. That's our subject for the moment. It'll be shorter than the, oh, that's the streaming details. That is not the details that I was looking to share. Where is the... Skype thing. There we go. That is the details that I was looking to share. All right, Jordan. Let's let's give it a shot. Hello. Hey, Jim. Ah, uh, you there, man? Hey. Yeah, I'm good. How uh, you doing? I'm doing good. So, you what are, what are your thoughts on the Chinese version of Steam? Well. I mean, it all comes down to a case of, well, you're going back to you saying they've got their hands on all these pies like Activision and stuff. I mean, it all comes down to a case of do they own enough of a share in those companies to be able to pull their games from Steam to put them on this website when it goes global? Well, that, that's that's a good question. I know that they own like percentages of some of the companies were like around 40 percent, 45 percent. They didn't have a majority share, obviously. Um, but I think they have enough of a say as a minority holder with the amount of stock that they have and the amount of, you know, of the company that they own to put enough, I, I would think enough pressure to say, let's, um, let's put it on our platform and give it a, a bigger discount than we would give it on Steam just because we, we have a bigger say than I guess the other stakeholders might have. Well, in, in that case, then I think it would all come down to a consumer basis. I mean, for me personally, I mean... God, you look at all these. You look at all these places that you, they ask for your information. I mean, Jesus, look at G2A Games. They give so many discounts, and there's so many red tapes and bullshit with that. 
Like people, people do go to G2A games, but like you've got people who don't sell you the right keys and stuff like that. And there's ways to get your information off of that as well, because you've got to put your PayPal, you've got to put everything there as well. Um, I mean, if they could guarantee the infrastructure to it, I think competition is healthy. Because I mean, Steam, Steam overall, I think, I think everybody could say competition breeds competition breeds the best out of companies so i mean i mean as long as it's a competition i'm fine with it because then steam will get better in all the bullshit they've been lagging behind well i I think this comes down to though a a personal security question at least this is my my mindset as an american um the yeah, and chi- I'm, and the, I'm a Brit. Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm no, a Brit looking at everybody in chat. <laughs> but I mean, as an American, we kind of have this notion of Chinese companies as being underhanded or producing subpar uh, quality items. And when we think and of yet like, most, and yet most of the shit in the world is made, it, in, is made China. in China, exactly. But and when it comes to like Chinese digital services, we have this idea that they're just not as secure or safe. Maybe that's different in Europe, but at least that's the American mindset. Mm-hmm. Um, but you'd feel secure using them, I, I guess. Would you feel like your information's at risk? I would need, obviously, I'd need to hear for, hear it from a third party because obviously, I'm sure, like with digital rights and everything, there'd have to be security checks through uh, the com- the countries themselves, wouldn't there? Because that's that's a foreign website going up onto uh, the internet through the IPs of everybody in that country, so there'd have to be security assessments of their website, especially if they're going to go global with it. Well, I'm not saying that they're going to inject uh, like malware into your computer. What no, I'm... no, no, no. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, is that they would have to. What I'm saying is, as far as security goes, they'd have to go through all those checks and balances to be able to go global. So then I would, then I'd have at least some security, knowing that okay, they've passed these checks and balances, so I know that yeah, they may have my information, but goddamn, everybody has my fucking information at this point. I mean, you said my real name as well. No, so everybody, yeah, everybody already knows that. I, I, I got gotcha, you. Yeah. Okay. So, you, you, do you think that they'll have a chance? Then I guess once they hit market uh, globally, do you think they'll have a chance at unseating Steam, or do you think that uh, Gaben and Valve are so entrenched nobody's going to touch them? At this point, I, I honestly think Gabe, uh, Gabe Newell and Steam is so entrenched in the gaming, me, in the gaming PC culture that it's going to be an uphill battle. I'm not saying anything's not possible, but if they just start taking down games off of steam you're gonna get a severe fucking revolt yeah no i i I could imagine that all right man well thank you for uh your insight all right thank you very much yeah take it easy yeah i did a video i'd say like two or three years ago i mean i i have my issues with steam i never liked how their friends list was set up and you have to buy i i know they can say you can you can trade cards to go up levels and pro, you know play cheap games to get cards and then you can get more friend slots but i did a calculation i can't remember what it was but it's like 20 cents for every friend slot on Steam. You know, just nickel and dime shit like that always annoyed me. So maybe if Wii Games goes out and they put a little bit of pressure on them, maybe they'll start not doing that. Who uh, who knows? Uh, let me see here. You know what? I will, I will try you one more time, uh, Christian. Uh, it should be okay now. Oh, you know, we will backtrack one segment and I will I will try you one more time. Uh, this is the person that said they spent $26,000 on Star Citizen. I, I will make one more attempt to try to get you on. Uh, you there? Oh, you're, you're killing me here, Christian. I'm jumping segments to pull you in. You should have kept the money and bought, <laughs> and bought a better technical setup. Uh, well, just, just uh, I guess, just send me your story, and I will read it out for people. All right, we've got somebody who wants to talk about Wii games. Take a few of these calls here. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, who am I? Uh, who am I speaking with? Uh, sure. Let me just mute this video really fast. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about Wii game uh, yeah. because I have a few thoughts about. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, that, that. Well, who am I speaking with, though? Uh, what's your name? Uh, just call me Paradox. All right, Paradox. So, what what are your thoughts on Wii Game? What are you thinking? So, I'm really wondering how they're going to treat their marketplace because we have this potential example 
of them doing some shady shit uh, by playing a game uh, against another game that they already have control of. Because you know they have League of Legends through Riot Games. But there was a MOBA that closed down recently that was created by Epic Games called Paragon. And it was supposed to be a hybrid between a MOBA and a third-person shooter. And everything yeah, seemed... I, I'm, I'm familiar with that. Didn't they release the art assets for people to do what they wanted with? I heard that they released millions of dollars worth of art assets, which which seems like it's really cool of Epic Games. Now, I don't think that we know factually why Paragon took the dive that it did, aside from some critical personnel changes, i.e. the, the person uh, for whom Paragon was the brainchild uh, leaving Epic Games after 17 years or something like that. Um, but there's this theory, and it seems plausible, that the reason that the design uh, philosophy changed on Paragon for the worse is because Tencent didn't want to raise a MOBA to compete with League of Legends because it was already successful, and Paragon looked like it was going to succeed on a massive level. So when we talk about Wii game coming out and producing so many more products, I'm just wondering what is their goal with this? Are they aiming to build up specific companies uh, because they have large market shares already? Is there going to be additional sabotage involved? I, I don't know. But okay. then, uh, well, let, let me let me check out something first here, okay? Because I, I, I like I said, I, I heard the story about them releasing art assets for Paragon. Uh, but when I'm looking at you know Metacritic uh, for the user score uh, for the PC release, it's it it's sitting pretty low. I mean, do you think the are you saying that you think the game was sabotaged to be bad from the beginning, or do you think that it was not given the support once it got going? Because it's sitting at a 5.5 on Meta right now. No, I don't think it was sabotaged from the beginning. I think it was headed in the right direction for a while, the direction that the players wanted it to go into. So I believe it had up to a million concurrent players. But the negative changes started to roll in as the person who was in charge of developing Paragon took a backseat and then, as I said, left the company after being there for so long. I don't know if that is for sure what happened, but since we're talking about this idea that Chinese companies are often underhanded, and because they have control over Riot, well, it seems pretty plausible. And that makes me wonder what the consequences on the rest of the gaming industry are going to be if they try to... Uh, use this marketplace to compete with Steam and GOG and everything else. Okay. All right. So would you, you based on, I guess, this idea that they might be sabotaging companies' products, would you not feel comfortable using a service if they launch it globally? I mean, if they're going to do that, they might fuck with your personal info, do you think? I'm not sure what the long-term consequences of this company having information on, on me, on a bunch of other nobodies are when we have control over almost all of that information. I mean, the two risks are like physical address and uh, credit card, right? Yeah, but basically, yeah. Mostly we're just seeing the collection of that data manifest in ad targeting algorithms. So, you know, advertising is personalized to you based on cookies and... Well, you know what, actually, like let, let me expand on that a little bit. I, maybe that's not fair. Um, a lot of people are stupid. They're going to use the same password for a lot of things. So you sign up for a uh, Wii Games account on Tencent, uh, now they've got your, your email account, they potentially have a phone number and an address, and a favorite password for your online profile, um, as well as, you know, financial information like your credit card and stuff. So, I mean, maybe it is a little bit more than that, but, um, I, I, yeah, so I just wanted to interject that. No, and that's actually where I was going, because I can see there being a big concern with them not taking security seriously enough and then getting breached, because if they got breached and they have my personal information well, hell, I don't want a bunch of Russian hackers going through a Chinese outlet to get the info on me to steal my card information or I, I don't know. I've I've had my identity stolen a couple times before, so obviously that would be somewhat concerning. Okay. All right, man. Well, uh, thanks for the uh, thanks for the uh, insight on this. Absolutely. Thanks All for the right. chance to come on yeah, later. Take it easy, man. Okay. Yeah, maybe maybe it's just more me, but. Uh, again, kind of at the end of the day, uh, it freaks me out a little bit uh, to think that this company's got such a huge stranglehold on so many different developers and publishers. Uh, they're in a ton of different tech companies. I think their their market capitalization was like half a half a billion dollars. Uh, the owner of the company is like fifty billion dollars in his own personal wealth. It's a 
monumentally big company. Um, and the idea that they're just now they're going to make the software, distribute the software, have uh, competing programs to do chat programs with each other. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they released their own version of Discord. I wouldn't be surprised if they released their own version of Skype. Just everything to try to just become this one mega corporation, all Chinese run, with all your personal data being in their hands. Just feels like a shitty, a shitty direction to go. I got a few super chats here, and then we're going to take a look at highlights from last night, where a California socialite by the name of Corrine decided to take a walk in Compton and the shenanigans that ensued, uh, which were a little bit downplayed until she almost got raped at night, which is always an interesting way to end a stream. Big crime, PSA time. Everybody is out to get everybody nowadays. Get Firefox, Duck, Duck, Go, Ublock Origin, No Script, and Cookie Auto Delete today. Cheers. Deep fried lettuce. I love how the communist answers to I shit is we shit. <laughs> Eddie L.O., uh, thank you for the donation. Connor Potoff, oi, mate, you got a license to speak. Uh, use notes. Super Hans, what a saucer. Scott, drink something you have a loud grandpa mouth. Snake56, I hope you're backing up your data. Somebody's backing it up. It ain't you. Super Hans, again, this guy sounds like the guy from a couple of geeks. Racist Foundation. Erixist Foundation. Jim, would you ever be interested in doing a live stream with a college organization at Arizona State University? We're all fans of your channel. I have no idea what we would talk about, but uh, message me. Hit me up on uh, Twitter, and sure, I'll, I'll do a stream with you guys. Kumpala, uh, no, because their phones are banned in the U.S. Dark 666, 105, is one... <laughs> Am I reading this? Oh. Is one billion users hard to get when it's China? Uh, well, you know, probably not. Uh, you know, it's a fair it's a fair observation. Billy Ray, they have it already. Facebook gave it to them. Jeff Herf, where's X-Files Queermo? Haven't done an X-Files in a while. Might do, might do one. I like this bike, man. Good to see you, Pew... <laughs> Good to see you, Pewds. You honestly, uh, you could, god damn. I need another monster energy drink. I'm getting a little, getting a little tuckered out. You could honestly do super chats. Don't let that P-U-B-G thing get you down. Daniel Smith, I tuned in late, but Jim, please tongue my kawaii anus. Thank you, senpai. From underscore, I was going to put 10 ground, or 10 grand down, but I ended up spending it on traps and Adderall. Probably a better use of your money. Midrin Emery's. It's set precedent for that court district only since it is at the lowest level. It can be cited, but doesn't have the weight of a higher court ruling. Talking about the star citizen refusal to allow a small court's claim to go through and instead sending it to arbitration. Massive damage gaming. Adepta Soritatis versus Adeptus Acetatis versus Adeptus Mechanicus. I, I feel like I'm, I don't even know what I'm saying. Versus Astra Militarium. Who would win? If you mispronounce any of those, you are a faggot. I am a faggot, Massive Damage Gaming. Gaming, I am having difficulty even speaking normal words tonight. Bow Wow, it's true. Metal Gear Solid is getting a movie directed by a guy who made the last King Kong movie. Well, it's going to be pure shit, I'm sure. Corey Jeffrey, bleep bloop. Cloudstar, I'm a sucker for rare collectibles. HRTRTU, Chlorine had an insane view count requirement for media. 100,000 views. All the Moon Man that I found was for nothing. Sad. Anyway, if she got the gang member arrested, she is fucked. Her address is only one Google search away. Uh, we will take a look at that. Uncle Adolf Cheesecake. Star Citizen reminds me of the people who gave thousands of dollars to Miss Cleo. That's, uh, that's not a bad observation. Kumpala Bala, or <laughs> Kumpi Bala. I donated my thoughts and prayers to it coming out. And Super Hunts again for Xbox Pleb. All right. Uh, now, as I was mentioning, Chlorine. Our little Corrine, a wannabe Andy that hung around Ice Poseidon, decided to go to Compton at the behest of the Ralph retort. I am no way associated with her decision to go into the hood. And it turned out to be a shitty endeavor. She spent over two hours at her fucking bodyguard's house, a big burly black man. How did she call She called him a big black buck. Corrine's big black buck of a bodyguard was too chicken shit to go to Compton with her. Lost his wallet, lost his keys, got too high, got scared, didn't want to leave the house. So she eventually took an Uber down there. And uh, 
it was a complete shit show. It was like a 10-hour stream. Ralph was losing his shit, uh, but there were a few highlights, so take a look at a few of these. You can watch a completely out-of-touch old white woman in the middle of Compton not know what the fuck she's doing. I've got this time-coded, so let me, let me get this shit brought up. Take a look at Corinne. Corinne, Corinne, Chlorine, I don't know how you want to say it. I believe it's at the 40 minute mark. Let's see if I can pull this up. All right. Take a take a minor look at some of the things that happened while she was in a Walmart in Compton. And then we'll go look at her almost getting raped. Because she decided to walk down a dark alley with an MS-13 gang member. What what could possibly go wrong? at midnight in Compton with a Latino gang member. They're not sending their best. Not, not sending their best. Oh, get rid of the Skype banner here. There we go. That way, all the way you know. Oh, sorry. Okay, you will, you're so nice. Oh my God, he's showing me. Okay, tell me what else to do. I'm gonna get it. I need rose gold or gold though. I don't like silver, I hate silver. Yeah, only rose gold or gold. No silver. Okay, well, where is that? Okay, and then we're gonna go to Cesar Chavez Park. Where do you guys wanna go? Woohoo! Woohoo! Isn't that fun? Isn't that super exciting? Watching a, a dumb white socialite walk around Walmart with her fucked up uh, Texas speech not working properly, where she fucked people over, you're donating five to ten dollars, and the message isn't really going out. Occasionally, you get a robotic voice saying something. And maybe you get a couple of ram ranches, but nothing's really happening. That's uh, that's always nice. So that was the that was the bulk of it. She walked around Walmart and then sat in the back of a fucking Uber for hours doing nothing, live streaming and trying to get some money. That is until everybody stopped paying attention, and Corrine decided that she wanted to hang out in Compton by herself and continue live streaming because she liked making the money. So. <laughs> She runs into a gang member, and uh, let, let's take a look at what happens. I believe it's at the six-hour mark. You'll, uh, you'll see this fine, upstanding gentleman who's about to culturally enrich her. Choices? I'm not very good at choices. What are my choices? <laughs> what are my choices, babe? Yeah. Say that no kids watch yeah. my channel. I do. It's probably the biggest ever. Wait till you see this fucking kids guy. Watch my channel. Okay, if I Uber you somewhere, yes. and I can Uber you like back. This. Like this, Do you have any cash? Like we have no cash. No, stop. It's not about big. It's no, about how it's nice you are. Trump course. Nation. Kevin Filippini. Agents. Can we be friends forever? Because I don't really have very many friends who care about me. He's rocking that fucking mullet from the 90s. Just some guy in a wife beater she met on the fucking streets of Compton. And wait till you see his clown makeup. Do you want to meet the really mean YouTubers? Hey, you know, you know how... Oh, he doesn't want to. No, You see the little the little kiss makeup that he's got on his eye, the little the little ICP makeup he's got going on. The little I I'm kind of a gangbanger, but I'm really a white boy with a mullet in the middle of Compton look. Uh, so she decides this upstanding gentleman she met at a fucking McDonald's. Hey, it's a good idea. You know what? I'm gonna follow him down the street into a dark alley. <laughs> so let's uh let's take a look. Can we be friends forever, seriously? I'm never having sex though. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. I don't have sex with anybody ever. Okay, where am I going now? We're Dude! The street. We're there. What's oh, the address, no, everybody? Okay, we have docs there. Forget it, okay. Hi, can I get an Uber from wherever we're going? And just to, you know, give you the, the mindset that she's in right now. She thinks this is a good idea. She thinks she's safe. It's Compton. It's like 11 at night. And she has no money. And she's live streaming on a phone that's got like 13% battery. So this dude that she just randomly met... It keeps looking at her phone, and I think he's waiting for the battery to die, which is kind of the, the general gist of what everybody else thought, too. So she's, uh, let, me, let me just skip ahead a little bit here to the good part, where things start to go a little bit uncomfortable. Because I've been, I love high heels. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, what's it called? I don't think I'm going to do anything. I was going to get in the car. Ah! We almost got hit by a car. What are you doing to me? Okay, can we please get an Uber? I want to go. 
Okay. Hi. Is this safe? Are we safe? Where are we? Um, I have 15%. Okay, this is great. Are we safe? Where are we? I don't know where we are. Oh, my battery amount? I've only got 15% of when people are not going to be able to know where I am and what's happening. Smart, okay, Corinne. Well, where are you taking me, dude? So what do you do for a living? Nothing. I'm trying to do this, but I don't know where you're taking me. Can we talk about this for a second? Where are we? Where are we? We're on Alameda. Alameda? I don't even know what you're talking about. Alameda? Hey, I, gotta, I, I have to get an Uber. I can't handle this. You're taking me too far. How many more minutes do we have? He's many... gonna rape you. That's great. Shut up. Who says that? I don't know, idiots. Yeah. Yeah. That, type and they yeah. Just yeah. that uh, was probably the best time, TTS. Uh, the he, she's you're going to get raped, uh, TTS. It really sets the mood for her walking down the dark alley with the gang member at midnight in Compton. Okay, I'm not happy right now. How many more minutes? Dude, how many more minutes? Seriously. Okay, I'm done. I don't I don't like this. Okay, I'm done. I have to get an Uber. This is the first block that's gonna come up. For what? That's right. Okay, okay, what's the street right here? Seventeen hundred north. I'm at seventeen hundred north. What's the street called? What is this street called? What? I already told you. Seventeen hundred what? Where am I? Where am I? Dude, where am I? Okay, 1700 Alameda. Okay, let's do this. Oh my god, okay, 1700 Alameda. I'm gonna throw this away. Okay. No, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I can't go anywhere. Okay, good, in two minutes, okay. Okay, how many more seconds do I have? Oh my god, wait, hold on, no. Wait, what's that cop? What are you Stacey doing? Frugie. Oh my god, I'm scared of the cop. Stacy Frugie, I don't know what that is. Okay, where are we going exactly? Can you just come with me in an Uber to somewhere? Yeah. You know how all those feminists get mad at guys when they say, they always turn it around on you and they're like, don't tell me how to dress, don't tell me what to do, I should be safe anywhere I go. And then a guy responds by saying, I'm not saying you can't choose how you want to dress and that you can't go where you want to go. I'm just trying to give you a basic idea of how to be safe because you're going to put yourself into a situation where some guy is going to do bad shit to you and they get all upset acting like you're a sexist pig. That's kind of what she is. That's that's a chick she kind of is. And here she is at you know midnight in Compton with a juggalo mullet-having MS-13 gang member she doesn't know where the fuck she is. You can hear this fear in her voice. Like those little gears are turning around in her mind. Like, have I made have I made a horrible fucking mistake? Am I about to get raped? <laughs> Am I about to get raped in Compton? Because I'm the world's stupidest woman? Okay, but I don't I know but just can you hold on to that? How many more minutes? I'm at seventeen hundred Alameda. That's my jacket. Can you keep it? It's my jacket. Yeah, you can keep it. He can have it. Seventeen hundred Alameda. Seventeen oh six Alameda is where I am. Yes. I guess now we're going to get. Okay. Okay. Oh my God! You look really good in my jacket. He looks hot in my jacket. He stole her fucking jacket, by the way. He never g he never gives it back. Look at this goofy fuck with the clown makeup. He took her fucking jacket put it on and then took her bag of shit and he's holding it so he's robbed her now she's been robbed in compton and she doesn't really know where she is and she thinks an uber's gonna come save her let's see how this progresses God, like, okay i gotta go i'm getting an uber i'm not going to your place dude i gotta go i can't because all my batteries are dying and i'm tired i can't handle it anymore no 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 I want to go home. I'm tired. What are you doing then? I'll see you tomorrow. I'm tired. No, I'm not an undercover cop. Are you? Are you an undercover cop, Holmes? I can't rape the police. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm not a cop. I'm just a dumb white woman in Compton. Joking. Come on. Why do you think I'm an undercover cop? Where are we going? 
Come on, let's go. Where are we going? We're going to a place. I know, but I can't do that. It's not safe for me. Okay. Oh, I can't. Okay, I gotta go to Brentwood. No, 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 She's getting culturally enriched on the streets of Compton. I wish more liberals could experience this, with their love of multiculturalism. Now, she says she loves Donald Trump, but she is a California socialite through and through. All everybody's equal. We're a diverse, loving society. Nothing bad's going to happen to me if I walk the streets of Compton at midnight. This is a fine, upstanding Mexican gentleman who's stolen my coat and wants to take me to a place. Not very specific of what that place is, but it's a place. And he's calling me a dumb, uptight white bitch. Let's let's see how loving this relationship turns out to be. So a girl is picking me up in a BMW. I gotta go. So we're going? I'm going with you? I gotta go. I'm, going I'm tired. No, but you can have my jacket. Am I going with you? No, I'm scared. I gotta go. Come on. No, it's okay. Come on. Oh my god, what is that then noise? What are you doing then? Are you trying to fucking set people up? No, baby, I would then never. What are you doing then? That's not good me. I'm tired. Let's go. We'll call the, we'll call I've been, the, Uber, I've been YouTubing all day. I know, but how do I get I you back? I'm right here in this fucking shit, man. This is not my fucking place. This is not private. I mean, this is. Private. Okay, where do you have to go? We're going to a place. We'll pick you up over there. But whose fucking, place is it? It's my place. I know, but is it a house or is it yes. a tractor? It's an RV. I know, I can't go my to an RV. My house is past. I'm going to take you to an RV in Compton. I'm going to take you to my mobile home in Compton. You know, the tra the trusty safe RV, where nothing bad ever happens to white girls at midnight in the ghetto. Come with me, the clown makeup wearing Hispanic guy that stole your jacket, to my magical RV of diversity, where I can culturally enrich the shit out of you. Do you live in Compton? Yes. Can I come in daytime tomorrow? Yeah. You're so hot. Okay, I'll come in daytime come on, tomorrow. You're hot. No, I can't go. Have her pick you up over there because this is private here. It's not I private. Don't, don't wanna, okay, I don't want to fucking have let her pick Let me just read what here. this says. It says she's arriving in less than four minutes. 1700 A Alameda Street. All right. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we're good. Come on. Let's yeah. Go. Okay, Pro Deep Delage Hunger. Yes. All right. All right. Yes. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah. My hand. What do you want to see with my hand? Oh my God! Stop! No. Okay, I gotta go. You can have my jacket. What do you, What do you think, uh, chat? What do you think he had her, uh, her put her hand on? Let, let me see your hand. Give me your hand. I got something for you to hold. What do you What do you think she uh, wrapped her fingers around there that suddenly got her wanting to get the fuck out of town? Come on. No, you can have my jacket. Okay. No, I'm not having sex with anybody. I'm not into that. Yeah, I'm not I gotta go. Babe, I have to go. Okay, stop. No! Okay, wait, let go. This bodyguard's watching us. Oh, we have a bodyguard watching us. Oh, you fucking me. No, I'm not. I gotta go. Agent 5338 backup is on the way. Okay, dude, is this 1706? Am I at 1706? I'm calling an Uber. Is where am I? Hello, where am I? Sir, where am I? Hello? Why isn't he talking to me? I don't know. I don't know either. Okay, four minutes. What address is this so I can get an Uber? S sir, what address is this so I can get an Uber? Hello, what address is this so I can get an Uber? 1,700, okay, good, 1,700 North Alameda. Okay, awesome. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna roll with you. No, I'm gonna go home and go to bed. What the fuck are you talking about? Because I'm tired and I don't have any more money. I gotta go get money, I'm not, I don't have any money. Ow! Come on, let's go. No, Stop no. Them, no, dude, I can't, I'm like tired. No, I love you, but I'll see you tomorrow. I gotta go to bed, I go to bed by midnight. Come on, let's go then. No, I gotta go to bed. I, I know, have. I know where you're coming from. Where am I coming from? You know Tali Fernandez. I don't know anybody, are you I know Tali Fernandez. So now he doesn't think she's a cop. Now he thinks she's in a rival gang. This is going to end well.
Joking? Wait a second, what? Who do I know? I don't know anybody with that Spanish name. I don't know anyone with that Spanish name. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a YouTuber. I'm not doing anything. I don't know anybody with that name. What, what you doing in Compton? I'm doing a documentary about Compton. Mm. What are you talking about? Are you putting it on pause to it? No, I'm leaving. You're scaring me now. You're I don't know anybody like that. I'm not on any drugs. Ouch, no hitting. <laughs> he slapped her ass. Did you catch that in the shadows on the bottom right? Just just slap that ass. Me, God. Okay, stop hitting me. Yep. No, I'm not you're going with you. I don't know who got I don't that was weird. Who do you think I know? Who do you think I know? I don't know anybody, dude. Ow, no. 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 Stop fucking teasing. No. I'm not teasing you. Ow, no pulling my hair. Come on, let's go. No pulling my hair, dude. Be nice. Okay. Come on, let's go. I'm waiting for my Uber. I'm sorry. I'm going with you? No, I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, peace. Okay, God bless you. Peace. <laughs> Hi, I'm waiting for you. Can you please pick me up? Can you please pick me up? Can you please pick me up? Please. I'm waiting for you. Security, can you pick me up? I'm waiting for you. Hello. Uh, somebody said Corinne's in the chat. Uh, Corinne, if you're listening to this, do you know how fucking lucky you got? Do you know how insanely lucky you got? Not getting raped in the middle of Compton. That dude, you don't even know who the fuck he is. You just meet him at a McDonald's. And he steals your shit. And he starts pulling your hair and slapping your ass. And he thinks you're in a rival gang, and he wants to take you to his fucking RV. It's it's a van down by the river, Corinne. He's going to take you in a van down by the river, and he's going to rape you there. He's going to make little El Goblinos in your tummy. He's going to take you down to the van by the river, and he's going to rape you, and then his homeboys are going to come, and they're going to rape you too. And you'd have to go to the police station and explain to them that a man with a mullet and clown makeup raped you in a van down by the river in Compton. You got so incredibly fucking lucky. Oh my god, you're such an asshole. He just threw water at me. That's great. That's like fucked up. He just threw coffee at me. Okay, that was really fucked up. Yeah, I'm waiting for an Uber. Can you help me with the Uber? Oh my god. That was great. Okay, now we're calling this person. Yes. This one is for you. Yes, let's hear it. Let's hear this one. I am ready, Freda. Let's hear it. I'm ready. I am ready, Freddy. Yeah, I think Baron there, which I, I'm guessing the rest of the name is Baron Trump, probably got it best. Uh, pay the toll. That uh, that about sums it up. You got so lucky, Corinne. You're so lucky that that warehouse you were standing in front of had a fucking security guard actively patrolling the grounds. You're lucky your phone didn't run out of fucking juice. You're lucky you were on live stream. You're lucky you knew the location you were at to get an Uber. How dumb do you have to be to walk with some strange motherfucker to his RV in Compton? <laughs> he stole your shit. He stole your jacket. And his people in chat were saying, I hope you didn't call the police because that's probably going to turn out badly for you. Might not be the best outcome to, you know, uh, file a police report against the gang member that can Google search where you live. He didn't seem super happy. Wasn't really enthused with the direction things were going. Let's uh, <laughs> read a few super chats here. Taco Stanisa, this is super cringe. Are, are you telling me you don't think that this was a brilliant idea by Corinne to go down to Compton? I thought it was just uh, just the brilliant, brilliant idea. HTRTU, it's a rape me too generation. Sounds about right. Tavin Andros, wow, how incredibly racist of her. That Hispanic gentleman just wants to enrich her. This is a future they chose. Now imagine this, but worse, and on every street in the country. This is the future they chose, and it's funny. Kid A2000, best Ralph retort stream. Not a wasted moment. 
Gilshot Kenny, get in my RV, little girl. I have some candy. Lord Akira, Tonka's sex, <laughs> Tonka's sex dungeon RV. I, apparently he's rented out an RV to this gentleman. The bloody talker, you're about to get raped. Then when you see a cop car, you say, I'm scared of the police. Common Darwin, please work your magic. The Australian Patriarchy, thanks for the chlorine summary, Jimbo. You just saved me many hours of listening to that annoying boomer thought. The Iron Pill, this girl is super dumb. Dysgenics is real. Fuhrer Tetanicus, and I butchered the name. Mom says it's my turn on the Xbox. Connor Potoff, send her to Jorez wearing a Trump shirt. Might actually be an uh, entertaining reaction. Lord Akira, Tonka saw has seen better days, huh? Western Redwood. The Juggalo got lucky. Who knows what strain of early 90s Super Aids old chlorine is harboring. Blue Patrician. America shall not rest until the manlet Putin hangs from the Kremlin. Hashtag free Ukraine. Gray Fox 37. There's nothing sadder than seeing an older woman thinking she is eternally 17. HTRTU chlorine never shuts the fuck up, does she? Uh, no, she is a talkative person. Amazing 1985. Press 1 if you want to ship Jim plus Corrine marriage. Or press 1 if soccer is for Eurofags. Bit of a mixed message, really. Eddie L.O. Just set the stream video to private unlisted, then add it to the playlist, you boomer. Oh, boom, you don't have to delete the streams. I'm just moving them over to Brightside Bob. 6-8 Toast. Let's give a huge round of applause to Wakanda for winning the World Cup. Bow Wow, what's your favorite game in the MGS series, Jim? Uh, Snake Eater would be that. Sinjin Lee, a chinks have chink versions of everything already. We just don't know about it because none of us are chinks. I have a chink co-worker, and it's pretty obvious. Trump Nation, Clarine shouted over TTS towards the end and ended the stream while driving to go meet Danny, the Latin King. Not to mention the Amos Yee stuff. Harold M, Firefox is now cucked. Use Brave Browser instead. David Andros, I respect the Chinese. They have the balls to recolonize Africa. The natives aren't using it. I can't wait for the mainstream to pick up on it. The idea of every libtard crying to someone who does not care is funny. Not a lot of sympathy for uh, Chlorine walking the streets of Compton. I can't really say I'm fucking surprised. Hey, Dan, Jim, how are you so wise? Uh, because I don't walk the streets of a ghetto at midnight like a fucking retard and expect that everything's going to turn out sunshine and roses. Colin Stevens, Kareen's BBC RV Tour 2017. It's going to be the hottest live stream ever. Watch out, Ice, you've got competition. Billy Ray, if uh, if she wasn't streaming, that slap would have been on her face. Uh, probably. Vault Dweller 604, what happened to her security? Uh, her security nig, as you put it, uh, her big black buck, as she put it, got he actually pussied out. She was going to go down there with a big black guy, and he uh, did not want to go to Compton. So she, so she went by herself. Coom P. Bala, I'm a truck driver and stayed in Compton on Victoria Street. It's not as bad as the 90s, but also not recommended to walk there at night. Smug Bug Man, a thought without a thought. Black Kami, she wants to come on and explain herself. <laughs> well, I don't know if I want to... I don't want any Latin King game members uh, coming to kill me. I don't think I want MS-13 hunting me down. Probably not the best idea to associate with... Uh, Chlorine right now. That would be my guess on that. Yes, I, I see chat. I'm reading it. Uh, why it said Corrine is in the chat. A lot of people saying she's in chat right now. You know, uh, maybe if she streams again in Compton at midnight, we'll have more to talk about. But that, that about sums it up. It was a 12-hour stream. I just saved you 12 hours and showed you the best two highlights. Her in Walmart with uh, Texas Beach saying nigger every couple of minutes. And then her walking with a Latino juggalo to his magical RV down by the river. Not uh, not the best stream, not necessarily the worst, but uh, it could have been it could have been a little better. Now, if you want to talk about one of the worst streams, or yeah, I suppose maybe you could consider it modern art. I don't know. Now, I haven't really been keeping up. I haven't really been keeping up with. Uh, a lot of the shows that I used to watch, uh, Morning Kumite, Andy Worski, uh, Jean-Francois, Gary B. a lot of that not not been watching. But there is a highlight video, I talked a, bit, a little bit about it on the Ralph Retort, of a stream that Andy did, where he ends up half-naked crying with Lord of the Rings music playing while people scream at each other. 
So I thought we could watch a few minutes of that because compared to <laughs> compared to uh, Corinne walking around Compton, I think this is more entertaining. I'll be honest with you. I thought there was more potential for for something crazy to happen there, and it almost did, but the security guard saved her. This, on the other hand, uh, this is something else. Let me pull that up. Just to, just to see how things are going. See, see where things have gone. Uh, that music is not added over the clip apparently Andy Andy chose it as his background tracking maybe not Lord of the Rings uh, somebody in chat might know what the fuck what the fuck we're listening to. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if Andy dropped about 50 tabs of LSD before this, but uh, he's loving that lighter. Yeah, that's correct, chat. That's why I use Skype. You see that on the left-hand side? That's Discord. See what happens when you use Discord? You start lighting yourself on fire on live stream. That doesn't happen with Skype. Uh, no, to those asking in chat, I, I do not know exactly what the fuck is going on in this clip. I just know it's a highlight from that stream. It's about eight minutes. We'll, we'll watch a little bit more of it. I believe he does a headstand where he nearly breaks his neck and then uh, strips and starts lighting his nipples on fire. That she could have been lying. I don't know what the argument in the background is exactly, but uh, they're in oh, here we go. We got naked time coming up. You fucking are talking to this nigger. You seem pretty upset. Go back to the dilation station. Chill out a little. Go get your dilation on, bitch. Go get your dilation on, bitch. Go get your dilation on, bitch. The dilation is my bitch. Don't steal that shit from me. Get rid of some of that hair. Get rid of some of that hair. Everyone was quiet and they wouldn't be screaming. Yeah. Oh! I don't know, chat. Uh, how, how many tabs of LSD do you think Andy? Do you think Andy hit before he started doing this stream? I'm gonna guess at least three. Three would be the number that I would give it. Oh, well, you know, we'll let the clip play out. Fuck it. And then we're gonna jump to uh, jump to some fun Trump shit. 
but <laughs> I just I wanted to watch this clip because it's fucking insane. We're gonna lose a Canadian here. Hang on. Get him out of here. Get him a blanket and some tissues. He wasn't ready. Hey, 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 He's, uh, he's zoning out. I believe he falls on his ass, though. Let me see if I can find that. Let's skip ahead a little. Okay, here we go. I think this is it. Can we kill can we can we kill Dio and pull the other one in? That'll be Dio's wait, wait, wait. He's dead. Hey, hey, you know what? I'll leave. You can pull you can pull zoom in. Like I'll just leave. Uh thanks for having me on. No. Later you guys. Later martyr. Oh, I am tired of this fucking hug box. Why, I am tired of this I want to know why he's calling it a hug I'm so sorry. Why did you want to say nigger a few more yeah, times? Like no. you okay. ate, you little uh, bag. Let him in, nigger, 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 nigger. Let him in. Look at him. It is Hey, Tonka, Tonka, let me ask Dio a question. It is done. I just, yeah, I just want to ask a question. Um, If a lot of people don't like Zoom for their own reasons, Outside no, of whatever song goes. I, I understand. This is not I'm a circle asking. jerk. This is not I know, a circle you, you know, know, that's, that's why you're in here with me. Bitch in the chat. Jesus. Tonka knows in the chat. Okay, can I can I make a statement here? Uh, I, I, I fucked the questions because I'm never going to be able to. <laughs> okay, guys. First of all, you just said the best part. I, I think we might have officially reached peak, <laughs> peak blood sports. I think we've... I think we've done it, boys. I think we've hit the the top of the mountain. <laughs> Just he's half naked, burned the hair off his chest, fucked his shoulder up, crying. His background's all fucked up. People are screaming, talking no and nigger at each other in the background. I I think we've I think we've hit peak blood sports. I don't know how you're gonna outdo this. <laughs> I think Andy has found a secret, and uh, I've done everybody on this one. I got a few. A few super chats that came in. Uh, read a few of these, and we'll we'll jump to Trump because there's some funny shit going on with him in the European Union. From uh, Mark Young, did you hear Aliens Colonial Marines was so bad because of a typo? Whether Tether was written as Tether, T E A T H E R, you can fix it yourself, and you make it in the game much better if you give it a shot. <laughs> I have no interest in playing Aliens. Colonial Marine. Just already too long didn't read. Andy and Tonka made up, but Andy's Discord nobody still hated Tonka. So they came on and started a fight with Tonka, and it's all childish drama. Colin Stevens, be honest, Jim. You did this during your Blood, <laughs> blood Sports Meadowcast. We just couldn't see it. I'm always doing headstands and lighting my nipples on fire. Keeps me it keeps me awake, keeps me alert. Iron Wolf Spear, I'm scared. What the fuck is happening, Jim? Save me. Tabit Andros, the Jew cries out as he punches you in the face. HTRTU, you've just watched the internet.mp4. Trolita Kekistania, Hitler did nothing wrong. JTune 200, Andy Worski, uh, and Chlorine. Super Kitty, Pogo Dance, I recognize that look in Andy's face. It's the face you make when you realize you've hit rock bottom. New Age Culture, we must secure the existence of gasoline engines and a future for 12 cylinders. Get crack for me. Playing Clockwork Orange theme while you comment on this was worth all the heartache Ralph suffered. Love it, man. Here's a grant for the down payment for a planet on Starscam. Well, that'll go great with the, the ship that I just bought for $5,000. I'm sure it's a good investment. I can't imagine anything going wrong. For posterity, hey, Holmes, it's just further into the alley. You can trust me, I say. Lol, have you seen the French rioting in France? Uh, we're going to take a look at that, actually. 
because uh, it ties into something Trump was saying to the EU earlier. Uh, Zillion, upload the stream in 720 to uh, Brightside Bob Boy. Adan, Jim, how are you? Okay, we're back to the beginning. So that was Andy Worski uh, doing, I guess, live performance art. I, you know, I got to bring that face back up. Let me window capture it. That, uh, <laughs> that, is, that is a face of despair. I'll give you that. But um, I don't, I, I guess I don't know what happened. You know, four months ago, uh, you're celebrating having like the biggest live stream on YouTube with uh, Richard Spencer and Sargon. And <laughs> now he's naked crying in his room. <laughs> like, uh, well, some crazy shit happened over the last four months. I don't, I don't know, man. Oh, that face. That is a face of agony. Holy shit. Ooh. Okay. Let me, let me pull up my little list here. Pull up my little list. Oh, you know, fuck. I suppose we could talk about uh, Elon Musk. You know, I, I think I have the picture. Where is it? You know, if I if I bring it up, if I put it as an image for the background, I might be able to do it. Just give me one moment here. Yeah, image is fine. Uh, where the fuck is it? Uh, yeah, fine, okay. You should be seeing it now. I'll just scroll around it as we go. Try to get that a little bigger. I had to do this earlier. Uh, Elon Musk deleted all of this, apparently because he didn't like the reaction he got. Uh, so for those unaware, basically what happened was there was a cave-in in Thailand. A bunch of, I guess, a boys' soccer team got stuck in a cave like a mile in. Nobody could get to him because there were all these twists and bends. Water was filling up. Uh, it was turning into a bad situation. Elon Musk volunteered a, a tiny little submersible. I think it's like five by six. And he was going to donate it and have them use it to try to rescue the kids. And apparently people involved with the rescue operation thought it was stupid. And so this this person, I think they're a New York Times writer, said, heard about Elon Musk's rescue submarine, the cave diver who masterminded the Thai rescue, called it a PR stunt. That was the politest thing he had to say about it. You might be wondering, well, he tried to help. Let me explain with this New York Times piece. And I've watched video clips of the guy, and he does shit talk. Uh, he shit talks Musk quite a bit. But it gets interesting here. Never saw the British expat guy who lived in Thailand at any point when, he w when we were in the caves. Only people in sight were the Thai army uh, and navy, who were great. They escorted us in, total opposite of wanting us to leave. Water level was actually very low and still not flowing. You could have literally swum to cave five or to cave five with no gear, which is obviously how the kids got in. If it's not true, then I challenge this dude to show final rescue video. Huge credit to the pump and generator uh, team, unsung heroes. But he decided to follow up on that with, I, I I don't know where this came from, I guess, but he threw this out there. You will you know what? Don't bother showing the video. We'll make one with the mini sub pod going all the way to K5. No problemo. Sorry, pedo guy. You really did ask for it. And then maybe people are thinking, oh, that's a, it's a, it's a minor typo. He's not calling the dude that headed up the rescue operation of stranded children in a cave a pedophile. <laughs> well, you'd be wrong. From Kevin Beaumont. Oh, sorry, he's calling the guy who has found the children a pedophile. Real classy. And Elon Musk responds, bet you a signed dollar, it's true. So <laughs> you could imagine a little bit of a shitstorm arising from that. About two or three weeks back, uh, Elon got into an argument with somebody on Twitter. And they were bringing up the media. And he didn't like the media because they were attacking him. I've, I've talked about this on a previous stream. But he basically hinted at and said to the reporter, who do you think runs the media? And every blue check mark on Twitter jumped into that timeline. Because they were just waiting for him. Because they have this vision of him as this uh, right-leaning guy, donates to Republicans. Obviously, he's got to be a racist alt writer. They were waiting for him to say, Jews run the media. But he never did. He just kind of walked away and fucked his girlfriend. I, I don't know what he did. And now fast forward to this. This New York Times, I, I'm almost certain they're baiting him into this shit. They're trying to piss him off by attacking his ego. And they, they finally got a reaction. He called the guy that helped in the rescue operation a pedophile. 
And then when asked to clarify, it said, no, he's most definitely a pedophile. So would you like to wager how many stories they've written about it? How many BuzzFeed articles? How many uh, Variety articles are out there right now? Talking about Elon Musk and uh, the Musketeers or whatever they call his, his group of fans online and saying how terrible they are? <laughs> he kind of he kind of stepped into the shit uh, with his particular with this particular approach. Uh, they were also taunting him too by saying that they think he's going to become a Pizzagate guy. A lot of the reporters that were responding to this and writing stories about it started mocking him and saying, "Oh, Elon Musk is going to be a Pizzagate guy. He's going to start buying into that shit." I, I don't know why they'd connect these two things. Uh, but they're, they're trying to draw him in more. They want to try to throw out more shit to get a reaction, to get a, a quote for their articles because they want to fuck with him a little bit more. In fact, one of the reporters the last time this happened, uh, when he said, who do you think runs the media, uh, attacked him, said a lot of shit about him, talked about his dick size, made fun of him, all this crazy shit. And then she wrote an article saying how she was being sexually harassed by Elon Musk and his fans. Like, tried to completely spin it around, hit her own timeline, deleted tweets to make it look like she never said it, even though people archived it and screen capped it. So they've been, they have him in their sights, and they want to fuck him into the ground really, really hard. But they're having a difficult time doing it. And I don't know if he just gave them an end to do it. Maybe. Maybe they accidentally, you know, maybe he, he might have fucked up a little bit here and given them an avenue of attack. Unless, unless it turns out this dude is a legit pedophile, which is going to be funny as shit. If that guy turns out to be a pedophile, they're going to look like assholes. <laughs> Elon Musk is going to look, it's going to, they're going to think he's a fucking prophet that he pulled that one out of his ass. Now, uh, President Trump, this is, uh, you wanted to talk about Paris. This is how this is going to, this is how it's going to tie into it. Trust me on this. You're going to like this. I think it's been so president trump was uh obviously meeting with the eu and he had his nato talks before going to speak with putin and he's, he's had quite a few things to say uh he gave a little speech talking about immigration and his thoughts on it as uh it affects europe so i'm going to play a sound clip of that and then i want to show you the celebrations happening in paris france right now the uh the riot for their soccer team but just listen to what he says about immigration, and then I'm going to show you what the crowd looks like. And you tell me if you think he's wrong. So here we, here we go. Let me pull this up. It's been very bad for Europe. I think it's been very bad for Europe. I think uh, Europe is a place I know very well, and I think that uh, what has happened is very tough. It's a very tough situation. I mean, you see the same terror attacks that I do. We see them a lot. Uh, we just left some incredible young men, men and women at Sandhurst, and they were showing us cells, and they were showing us things that, frankly, 20 years ago, nobody even thought about, probably a lot more recently than that. Nobody even thought about. I, I just think it's uh, changing the culture. I think it's a very negative thing for uh, Europe. I know it's politically not necessarily correct to say that, but I'll say it, and I'll say it loud. And I think they better watch themselves because you are changing culture. You are changing a lot of things. You're changing security. You're cha look at what's happening. I mean, you take a look. I mean, look at what's happening to different countries that never had difficulty, never had problems. It's a very sad situation. It's very unfortunate. But I do not think it's good for Europe, and I don't think it's good for our country. We're as you know, far superior to anything that's happened before. But we have very bad immigration laws. And we're, I mean, we're doing incredibly well, considering the fact that we virtually don't have immigration laws. We have, we have laws that are so bad, I don't even call them laws. I call them, it's just like you just walk across the border. You walk across the border, you would put one foot on the land, and now you're tied up in a lawsuit for five years. It's the craziest thing anyone's ever seen. And over the years, overall immigration has been good for the UK. So Trump's message is the immigration that they're seeing right now going on in the UK is not, uh, not just the UK, but the European Union is not good for them. Okay. So let, let's see if he's right about that. Let's, let's just take a look at Paris, France. I actually have a clip of just, just a live stream, just showing people uh, after the soccer match. <laughs> let's take a look. Just what the crowd looks like. I want you to, before we look at this, I want you to imagine in your mind 
what you think a Parisian crowd is going to look like. Just take a minute and think to yourself, okay, what, what is Paris going to look like? What are the people in Paris going to look like? Make sure I get it all the way at the beginning here. Okay. Chat, what, what do you think it's going to look like? What do you think the Parisian crowd is going to look like? When they're showing the celebrations in Paris, in Paris, France, for their victory. <laughs> what, do you think, what do you think it's going to look like? As Mr. Trump talks about immigration and the effects that it has on a, a culture and a society. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's take a look. Well, I'm noticing, I'm, I'm noticing a lot of some very dark people, some very dark people all lined up at the. Be There's a lot of them, a lot of Arab people too, a lot of a lot of dark Arab people in the front of uh, this Parisian crowd. Doesn't doesn't look like the baguette loving, wine drinking Frenchman that I have in my mind. That's that's very different. Let's uh, let's skip ahead a little bit. Get a little bit of a close up of the. Uh, the, the uh, there we go. Hey, there you go. <laughs> the fucking crowd. I love it. If you watch the video, if you go through it, it's a very long video. It's four hours. If you go through the video and just pause it at random fucking moments, you're going to get all these screenshots of a crowd that doesn't look necessarily very Parisian. It doesn't, doesn't look like what you would expect of a Parisian crowd. It looks like maybe. Maybe Trump wasn't completely off base when he's talking about the effects immigration might be having on European countries. Even though, you know, May's going to get up there and say, oh no, he's, he's completely wrong about that. But uh, this has been, this has been uh, an interesting trip as far as geopolitics goes, because for those unaware, Donald Tusk, ironically enough, is the, uh, the president of the European Council, and he's been having this back and forth with Donald Trump, about what he thinks <laughs> like I just I'm gonna fucking I'll read you the quote I'll pull the quote up and I'll read you the fucking quote EU president warns Donald Trump appreciate your allies you don't have many at all Donald Tusk issues warning to the US president ahead of the NATO meeting so <laughs> he's basically this is what I love about Europeans so He's already talking shit before Trump even arrives at the fucking NATO meeting. And what does Trump do when he gets to the NATO meeting? He, he, he basically shits on them. I almost, I, I almost wonder if he took it as a dare. Like, here's the president of the European Council telling me I need to treat them well. I, I'm going to walk in there. I, I'm going to just shit on the European Union. I'm going to shit on NATO. Fuck them all. And he, he did. Uh, look, <laughs> he really went after... Um, a mom Merkel saying that uh, Germany was basically owned by the Russians and that uh, they needed to contribute more and that US troops and uh, material and uh, money was basically funding their lifestyle and they weren't they weren't contributing the amount they needed to contribute uh, but it gets better because Tusk has been going on a PR campaign saying that oh the relations between the European Union and Donald Trump are fantastic there's there's nothing wrong with the relation. We are great allies. We are great friends. And then Donald Trump goes and he, uh, he gives an interview about uh, the EU. And I, I fucking love this. Just, uh, just, this is fantastic. Who's your biggest competitor? Your biggest foe globally right now? Well, I think we have a lot of foes. I think the European Union is a foe, what they do to us in trade. The European Union is our foe. So, here Donald Tusk is, talking all this shit. You'd better tell the line. You'd better show some fucking respect. We're your allies. You need to treat us well. And he goes in there, he goes to the NATO meeting, and he tells uh, Angela Merkel uh, to basically suck his dick, and Germany's a bitch, and Russia owns them. And then he goes and he gives an interview and says that the European Union is a foe to the United States uh, via their trades and their economy. Now, his comment wasn't that uh, outrageous, to be honest with you. He's talking about, you know, nations compete with each other. Organizations of nations compete with each other. That's just a natural thing. But they got so fucking ass-blasted about this. 
And Donald Tusk goes on to uh, Twitter after this and starts calling Donald Trump fake news. He actually calls Donald Trump fake news. He says, anybody saying that the European Union and the United States are not great allies is fake news. A lot of, lot of people in chat saying, fuck the European Union and fuck Europe. Uh, couldn't agree more. Uh, fuck Donald Tusk. Who the fuck is Donald Tusk? I've never heard of him before today. Trying to give directions to Donald Trump. I also like the fact that uh, when he met the Queen, a lot of people made uh, a big hubbub about him walking in front of her. There's a clip on YouTube. You know, they're, they're saying, oh my God, look, she had to direct him what to do. How, how embarrassing is that? There's a fucking clip on YouTube of the Queen with Prince William while they're on the balcony. And uh, Prince William bends down to uh, talk to his son or something, or his daughter, I don't know who it was. And he's talking to her and chatting to her. And the Queen starts, like, nagging at him, waving her hands. Get up, get up, get up, it's embarrassing. So uh, you can look at that one of two ways. Either Prince William is as dumb as Donald Trump, if you want to say Donald Trump is dumb, or the Queen loves Donald Trump as much as she loves her son because she treats him the same in public. Pick your poison. <laughs> Pick your poison on that one. I got a few super chats here, and then we'll we we'll end this uh, with a few calls. Let me let me put this back up. Stream's been going for a while. Oh, let, me, let me do this. Oh shit! Did my stream drop out? Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, there we go. HCRTU, diversity is our death for posterity. Jim, do you think that the soldiers that fought for their people in the 20th century would want their people to be replaced by other ethnicities? Uh, no, I do not. John McPherson, uh, that thumbnail on the Fallout theme background would sell a shitload of t-shirts, Jim. Captain Sugar, if they're going to brown, gun them down. If they're yellow, let them mellow. And if they're white, they're in the right. Matron Emery's, to be frank, uh, to Ellen, Thailand is known for two things, ladyboys and prostitutes. So his guess of an expat living there to access one of them isn't that far-fetched. Billy Rye, pedos have been getting uh, R&D up in record numbers, or rounded up in record numbers. To Radham Taban, Jim, tell uh, Jim tell Young to stop being a trust fund faggot. Broccoli Beef, Sargon 1. The uh, Orange Cow, Jim, you, uh, you are like Sauron and your influence is like one ring. Anyone other than you who tries to use it is corrupted and destroyed. Look at Andy Tonka, Queen of Pole, baked. I fear for Ralph. I think Ralph is going to be fine. He's got a, he's got a good show. Uh, he's got it set up where you can do call-ins. Better than this. Mine's kind of hacked me together. The Bloody Talker, that guy with the glasses, season two, episode one. Andy Worski, not he's not a part of the website. Chorgan Squirmhander, Squirmhammer. What happened to AW started uh, with he changes with anyone he gets around. Didn't like his show work and wanted to have fun be lazy. Let doxers in and got caught up in drama. He ruined his career. I, I believe AW refers to Andy Worski. Connor Potoff Worski is definitely possible internet insanity. Todd Joachim. All pedos must die a la Akbar. Mark Young. Jim tells Sparks he's a faggot and needs to fix his fucking speech and stutter. Todd Joachim. The Yellow Menace is raping the continent's Wakanda. Killer Queen t uh, thanks Andy Worski. The alt rights performance arts response to He Will Not Divine Us is Kino. I didn't think of that, but Shia LaBeouf has some fucking competition. Adan, Jim, why don't you own a gun? Here in Dallas, we just had a gun show and freedom feels good. That's actually my plan to move to Texas. Uh, houses are really fucking cheap down there. It's our long-term plan to get a home in Texas. So maybe when I get there, I'll buy a really cheap fucking gun. Jessica Eustace, it's like watching a kid hurt themselves to make their parents stop fighting. Sad. Pinky culture, I was in that stream. Sad. The orange cow, she would be inspired by Andy's performance. Mark Young, did you hear? Oh, well, we're back to Aliens Colonial Marines. Which, again, I'm, I'm not going to play. <laughs> it seems fucking awful to play that game. Roach Dog Jr., Donald Tusk has the same unwarranted feeling of power that a Discord server moderator has. What he creates 67 in 50 years, most European countries will be void of all previous cultures. And Johnny Flynn, thank you for the donation. Okay, remember, there is a delay on this uh, Skype and uh, the stream, so just be ready. 
pull you in. We'll talk about what you want. Uh, I'll give it like 20 minutes. Do 20 minutes of call-ins and the stream. So hopefully you get some good callers with some interesting shit. Whatever topic you want, it's fine. It looks like we have a, a rabbi that wants to join. Dr. Rabbi Goldenberg should be entertaining. Typical rabbi. Doesn't pick up. Maybe if I told him I wanted to sell him <laughs> some foreskins to make beauty products, he would have picked up. Not going to do it this time. I'm sorry, Rabbi. It'll have to be another time. We'll see if Kelso picks up. Uh, again, be be ready. Uh, the call will probably come in when it's not on stream. Hello? Uh, uh, yeah, you are on the stream. Nigga, 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 Oh, Goldenberg went to take a piss. It looks like the rabbi's back. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. All right. How you doing, rabbi? Can you hear me now, Jim? Uh, yep, I can hear you loud and clear. Jim? Yeah, you there? Uh, hang on. I think my audio's fucked. Hang on. Oh, brilliant. Everything's working Thanks. fantastic today. Um... Hang on here. All right, can you can I uh, try talking now? Uh, can you hear me, Rabbi? Yes, yes, I can, Goy. Okay. How, how you doing? I'm I'm doing great. Uh, what did uh, the Rabbi Goldenberg want to talk about today? Uh, I I was a little late for the scam citizen shit. I wanted to mention something. Um, I can't name names here. I worked with a uh, an independent developer who worked on a web game, but still really big from 2007. Um, that person, that person spent a hundred thousand dollars on Scam Citizen. How much? One hundred thousand dollars. I'm not even shitting you. They spent a hundred grand on fucking Star Citizen. Yes, I I have I have the receipts. I actually can find the emails, and I will find. I'll I'll cover up the names and send them to you later. But um, are, are they handicapped? I, what was their what was the reason <laughs> for donating that amount of money to fucking Star Citizen? Um, they had friends who were working on the game, and this was originally when it was first announced. You know, so he Star Citizen. Oh wait, so okay, so he put in a hundred k, and then he got a job working there. Uh huh. How, how did that work out? Is he still there? He's still there, and in, apparently. From what he's told me, it's gotten a lot worse behind the scenes. Oh, okay. Uh, so is he, he, he? Does he have like Munchausen's or not Munch? Uh, Stockholm <laughs> Stockholm syndrome? Like, does he feel like he's held hostage? Why is he still there? I I would think um, he's just kind of wanting to ride the wave. He's kind of not really got anywhere else to go in the industry. Not saying too much. Um. If you know anything about the game I'm talking about, I'm, I'm trying to be very vague. Some people know. Uh, uh, people are certain people. 2007. People are already throwing out RuneScape 2007. I'm gonna say this: you're very, very close. Another game around that time. Um, but yeah, no, it, it was fucked up because I was, I was originally into the game, right? I was like, okay, this looks kind of interesting. And in our little group message chat, he said, hey you got to see this shit. And he sent me a photo with uh, on text, which I back up everything. Thank God. Uh, but he took a photo of it and it was $100,000. Uh, 
Uh, well, and I, I seriously asked him. Well, okay, well, let me let me say this because I want to get a couple of people, and we got we got twenty minutes to go here. Um, yeah. uh, tell your friend for me, he's a fucking retard. Uh, and when Star oh, Citizen, I've, I've told him that many times. When when Star Citizen implodes and he's out of a job and he can finally talk about it, uh, have him hit me up on stream sometime, and I will. I'd love to have him talk I, about his behind the scenes adventures at that shit show. I will. I just want to say a couple more things for you, Jim. Yeah, go ahead, hit me. Uh, one, love your fuck content. Keep it up. Uh, two, do you ever kind of see you going back to stuff like um, like the old series, like the X Files and shit like that? Yeah, I like the X Files. I mean, I, I like X uh, in general because I like paranormal shit, um, and so yeah. you know, just laughing at it uh, and just kind of being interested in it. I mean, when the SCP stuff came up, that's why I was interested in it because uh, of what was going on at the wiki and shit. So um, I yeah, yeah, I see myself going back to that. Yeah, I will say this: I wish some of them were more in the vein of a first video, kind of like where it was, you know, you reading a story normally, but it kind of got more and more absurd over time. Yeah, it was mostly just to make fun of the video content that it's out there. Like, it, 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 it's always the same kind of fucking uh, shit with these videos. It's always uh, the the monotone voice or the graspy voice or, you know, the super serious voice. Sometimes they've got a yeah. looping music track on the background. They've got shitty stock photos that go over it. it it's the same fucking thing. They're all going to, like, uh, subreddit to steal their fucking content. And then they throw it into a video. The, the reason I, like, make fun of that is specifically with, like, the export and stuff is because they're always talking about fucking succubuses or they're always talking about the same fucking shit. Uh, so when you see that thread a thousand goddamn times, you you want to make fun of it. That, that's kind of what it is. But, uh, again, yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure to tell your friend he's retarded for me. Oh, I will. I've told him 40,000 times over the last couple of years. That and Daisy. Fucking <laughs> sucker getting that shit, too. All right, man. Take it easy, Rabbit. All right, man. I don't know. People in chat saying that sounds like bullshit. If somebody spent a hundred thousand dollars to get a fucking job working on Star Citizen, holy shit! I, I don't know what to tell you. Well, let's see what we got here. Somebody wants to talk about the English race. Well, this should be interesting. Uh, this is the one problem with Skype. I, I will try a few more, and then we'll, we'll wrap up the stream. I'll read the remaining Super Chats and call it an evening. <laughs> well, you know, that's that's something that happens when you watch this stream. Apparently somebody got in trouble with their neighbor for the guy screaming nigger on the last call. That should be entertaining. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay. Let me. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I, we're gonna we're gonna move past Skype. Sorry. We're gonna move past Skype. Call it a day on Skype. And I muted myself. Wonderful. Boomer technology, folks. Boomer fucking technology. And people are now Skyping me telling me I muted myself. No, I'm, I'm familiar. I, I got the messages. Thank you, everybody, for telling me I'm a fucking retard. Yes, Rabbi, I know I've muted myself. I, 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 <laughs> Goddamn. Uh, this is why I should not stream very long. For posterity, Jim, do you think that soldiers that fall... Okay, no, we've already read that one. All right. I will go through these once again. There's just a few of them. Edmund Ploppy Ellen's going to get uh, us to Mars. Trump will reign there as its emperor. We will bomb the shit out of filthy earthlings. Martian supremacy. Shortening of the weeb. Is the Skype name Eulogs? Yes, it was, but we'll have to do that another time. Coom B. Paula. Texas homes are cheap, but think again on property tax. Brandon Hansen. Aborted EU. I could have spent my money on programs instead of military, but my mom had other plans. I'll miss you, Trump. Get crack for me. End the show with a killstream clip where Ralph was screaming to a song. Uh, maybe another time. Literally nobody. Are you chewing gum? Nope, just chewing on my words. Shoku Bushu. Don't move to Texas, Jim. I've been here for eight years. Half Mexican culture and everything. Texans are libertarian cucks. Move to Missouri or Tennessee. Uh, again, the, it just it's easy to get a nice house down there. And we've been looking at uh, neighborhoods, su suburbs that have a certain... Uh, <laughs> how do I put this? We've been looking at the... Oh, I'm trying to think of how to word this. The demographic data. There we go. We found a few that we like. Ronson, I feel sorry for the special individual who spent $100,000 on Roblox. Not as sorry as his bank felt. Shlomo McShekelstein. Hey, Jim, you mentioned you like 40K. Which is the best faction? Not going to get into a discussion that will last hours and hours at the end of a stream. Iron Wolf Spear. Hey, man, uh, give me a call. Uh, it'll have to be on another, another, uh, another chat. Skype time is over. I have just... Uh, there we go. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm a little out of it. I'm a little out of it. Just a lot of a lot of things going on. Our household has been been given a gift. Uh, there's a certain um, <laughs> there's a certain population that lives in my state. Uh, we'll call them Somalians, and uh, they've given my household a gift that we've been dealing with for a month now. We'll call it the tuberculosis fairy. So. <laughs> It's just been interesting. Don't leave your house if you're in Minnesota unless you have a fucking hazmat suit would be my word of wisdom to you all. That would be that would be my word of wisdom in this fucking awful state. I need to move to Texas and I need to buy a gun. All right, we'll end it there. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you had a nice Sunday stream. <laughs> uh, and I will get the tech shit sorted so we get the Skype calls going a little better if we do this again.